We may lose uh, with a little bouncing. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we will see. The glasses, you have it? I got them right here, yeah. I do. Good morning, good morning. 2.30 a.m. live at Mauna Loa on the Big Island Hawaii. We're two pineapples, Lou and Anna. We have been up here since what time? 12.30? Yep. And uh, it has been blown out. So we'll give you just a little update here. My cam my phone works here. Oh, toot toot. I'm gonna switch cameras. Hey, so here we are. We are obviously inside the truck. I can't <laughs> see her. Um, a whole studio up here because not so much rain. It was rain down in Hilo, but up here at the first time. Well, you couldn't even see anything driving in. First of all. Came all the way around the loop. The whole frontal place is the lava front is blown out. Drove back around and we set up this kind of a modified studio in here. And we decided that isn't going to work. So we reconfigured. Uh, yesterday, when we went that, for that quick 30 minute live at the lava front, we just used the phone. Uh, but this, this morning, we did some modifications and we hooked up one of the cameras. So now we have. A mini studio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we have a mini studio. So I'll show you the picture of what we're looking at right now. Kind of give you an idea how blown out we are. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Yeah. We are pretty blown out. Yeah, it is tough. But we are we we are ready to roll. We're gonna roll up to the to the front. The reason we wanted to set up. Can you guys hear me? All right. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. I can barely read the chat. Let me get the, let me put my glasses on. See, oh, hey, look at there. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, yeah, so we wanted to hook up mobile so that with a Zoom, kind of our, this is kind of our system last year when we were filming Kilauea before we built a whole studio. Oh, good. Thank you for the thumbs up. I'll say good morning, Don, Mandy, Amanda, Jan. Thank you guys for joining us here. So we're mobile. We also have the Zoom. We have one camera hooked up. And we're going to see what we can do. We're going to fire up the engine here, get Matilda on the road, and go see what the front looks like. We may have to loop back around. Let's go take a look. Yeah. And and keep in mind, it will be noisy and yep. will be shaky because it's we gonna, are in the yeah. car. It's going to be noisy. It's going to be shaky. Um, bear with us. We'll give you all the updates of what's going on with the eruption once we get kind of more settled. And I can shut the truck off and you can hear us a little bit better. Sound good? Let's roll. Let's just call this a road trip. Yeah. See here. So while Lou's driving. <laughs> yeah, I'm by the window and the camera. I'm holding it right next to on my mat pat on the passenger side, so I will be slow because I have to make adjustments with the camera. I'm manning the cameras by hand. <laughs> So we got Cher and Prescott, Aloha everyone, Mr. Bean, Sean Gore, Amanda, Mandy, Amy, Tom Diaz, Don, Jen Arts, good morning all, Daniel, Grandma Deb, Nancy, good to see you guys, Kate Kress, uh oh, yeah. <laughs> There will be some moving, movement of the camera as we're rolling here. I do have my blanket. Yes. <laughs> we, we did plan. We left the house at midnight. It takes us about an hour and a nickel to get up here. We did plan on, I know we set the stream for three. We did plan on opening up and going live a lot sooner. But we just didn't have that, that option. Mm -hmm. So blown out. This one section over here, there's no clouds. But as you, as you see, you see if it's still there when we get up a little bit closer. That's where the, the clouds just kind of sit in there. We are day six. 
26 on the monoboil eruption. Today is December 3rd, 2022. The lava front is approximately 2.7 miles from Ooh. the highway. And I did not see a speed. The last speed number that I saw was 0.025 miles per hour. No. Is that right? 0.0. Um, I think it changed. I think it changed. That because we're uh, so discombobulated. Yeah, last night, <laughs> yesterday we didn't get home until noon, so we were pretty much 12 hours yesterday up here and around. We went to Target, Walmart, Mom's Trying to find some warmies. Trying to find uh, the hand warmers. Man. But we couldn't find any anywhere. Nothing. And uh, battery, rechargeable batteries do not ship here. Can't ship a little bit. Yeah. So we, by the time we got home, it was noon, and then we ate, cleaned up, did a little bit of work. And uh, we went to bed at 4. Yes. Because we knew we wanted to get up and come up here. We did not tell our mods. No. So, because we wanted them to get the sleep. Yeah. Wanted them, if they if they do get a notification and they wake, they do. But we wanted everyone to get some rest and, and just kind of like us, you know, some downtime. Um, fix this here. Yeah, please. Seven miles from yep. Saddle Road. Yep. Um, lava flow advanced at average rate of 150 feet per hour. Lava flow remains active around Fisher 3. The cone is developing. It was measured as a, approximately 157 high today. I'm guessing feet because they are having some typo issues on GPSGS. <laughs> uh, 48 meters. Fisher 4 has continued. You said a proposal feed on that? Fisher 3 has developed a cone. I'm trying to look at the cones moving. Yes, 157 feet, oh, okay. 48 meters. So, Fisher 3 has developed a cone and it's, a, it's growing. Fisher 4 continues to be active, but very little eruptive activity observed this morning. I mean, I've got to turn the camera. Yeah. So, you guys are just not staring into space. blown out it is. No, no, visibility. no visibility. As we're going through the viewing area, this is kind of where we parked the first um, opening yeah. the beginning. So right around here is where we were yesterday when we did the 30 minute live and you can see the, the front of the lava flow. Yeah, this is the wall and the traffic is visible. Yeah, this is our spot. So we're going to park here and go through the rest of the updates since we're at the bottom of the hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. You want to yeah. work on see if you can keep finding a visibility. None. <laughs> None. <laughs> okay, I'm going to So like we said, we're Lou and Anna, two pineapples. We are live up here at the Mauna Loa eruption. It is blown out right now with weather. When we left the house, it was raining uh, all the way through Hilo, up the up saddle road, all the way uphill was raining. Clouds are sitting on the road. And in Hilo, we did smell heavy, heavy SO2 uh, yeah. gas. Yep. Vog oh, smell. that reminds me. Yeah. If you are on Big Island, whether you're local or you're a tourist, we have a survey that we'd like to send to you from a Hawaii Tracker and Hawaii Pod that you fill out to let, let us know that where you might have VOG experiences at, whether you're in Mountain View or Kau or Javi, wherever you're at. So if you are uh, on here, you're local or tourist, and you can contact us either by Discord, Facebook Messenger, or Instagram Messenger. Am I missing one? No. No. Uh, we will send you. Please do not put your email address in the chat. Do not put your phone number in the chat. Please keep all your personal information private, but reach out to us um, in another way and we'll get you the link so you can fill out that survey so we can get some uh, tracking data done. Mm -hmm. 
Also, I brought up a question yesterday to Dane, the Hawaii tracker. I said, well, we're up here at the eruption. We're down in Hilo, and then we're back at home. Do we fill out everywhere we're at? And yes, just if you're moving and you're different locations and you experience the VOG, please fill out that survey. So back to Fisher 3 is generating a lava flow traveling to the north towards the highway that has reached relatively flatter ground and showed significantly, it slowed significantly over the past couple of days as expected. As of 7 o'clock a.m., and that this is coming from yesterday morning, obviously, and that's about the time we were out in front of that flow, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so as of 7 o'clock yesterday morning, it's 2.7 miles, that's what Anna was telling you, 4.3 kilometers from the highway. It's run at 150 feet per hour, or for our Canadian friends and those internationally, 45 meters per hour. The lava flow remains active around Fisher 3. Kona's developing. So Anna's, I'm just repeating what Anna gave you. don't you. need to keep telling them. <laughs> just keep reading it. The, the cone that's developed is 150 feet, 157 feet high, 48 meters. Oh, look. All of our old... Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you for uh, becoming a... Uh, was that a member or a subscriber? I, I was looking down. So we are using a different setup. Yeah, we're in a different um, studio. So you see some different uh, knickknacks that come onto the screen when yep. we get members, subscribers, super chats on yep. here. Yeah, everything should pop up on the screen. Mm. That's we, great. We used our original first few months yeah. uh, program to stream. Yeah, we were digging deep. <laughs> Not in panic mode, but we were digging deep. Uh, advanced rates may be highly variable over the coming days, weeks, due to the, the way lava is in place on the ground. That's all basically the same as yesterday, everything. The lava flow front got to a lower, flatter area, so it's definitely changing. Uh, volcanic gas flumes are lofting high. We saw that all day yesterday. And please reach out to us so we can get you a survey on the SO2. Uh, we found this interesting this morning. The, the SO2 emission rates are running pl- approximately 180,000 tons per day. We know the highest number we've seen 250, was, two, right, was 250 yeah. at the beginning of the eruption. Mm-hmm. And then I think we saw it actually dip down low at one point. Yeah, I don't remember. Mm-hmm. The number, There's no active lava in the caldera still. Southwest Rift Zone is not erupting. There's... Uh, no properties at risk. There's no evacuations. Everybody stay safe. It, it's just sitting right here still. So I'm going to let you have that so you can keep up with the chat a mm-hmm. little bit. And um, yeah, so here we are. We're just going to chill out. We're going to have to find a battery pack and get things charged in a little bit. Mm-hmm. And Because that camera may shut down. Let me do that first. Okay. That's your bag, right? Yeah, it's right here. You don't oh, have to get it? out. Oh, cool. And I put it right here so I can reach. Nice. So we don't have problems. Yes. Because we tend to have problems. <laughs> well, we're in a truck. and the Yeah, it's a little cramped. The uh, F-250 just got super small for some reason. Okay, let's do this one. Oh, uh, actually. Which cable? I, I got one here okay. for you there. And the other one. Bear with us, you guys, while we plug in our. Trying to get some stuff charged. Goody stuff here. So you can plug this this in. There's a button here that dims it a little bit. So it's not like blinding my eyeballs. Okay. Uh, I'd rather. Do we have the other battery pack? I can only plug one thing into this. Okay, hold on. Thank you for becoming a member, Mandy. Aloha. Thank you so much, Mandy. All right, here. Hey, this Hermione, one? how's your eyeballs doing since they're both uh, <laughs> fixed? Should be pretty much in good and healed up by now. And one more. The light is here. Once I plug this in, I can kill that. Okay. Hey, we got power to everything, so we are good. All right. Well, <laughs> whew. Hey, pineapples make adjustments. <laughs> we got our coffee. We're sitting up here. Thank you for joining us. Got 
Allison became a member. Allison, Allison became grandma. a member. Thank you very much. Thank you. We really appreciate everybody. These this last week, we've been running streams every single morning up here at Mauna Loa. All the new members, all the all the super chats, all the subscribers, all the thumbs up has really helped our channel significantly. Greatly appreciate everybody's support. That's why we decided to go to bed at 4 o'clock and get up here at midnight and, and keep trying to provide information and get it out to everybody. I also want to say thanks to Hawaii Tracker, Hawaii Pod. Uh, if you watched their show yesterday, they had uh, the video that we took driving around here showing the new viewing area. I don't have the map on this phone. It's on the studio encoder, so I can't show it. But Dane and Phil, they did show the... The, the video that we shot kind of breaking down where we're at it's, it's really nice you pull in down at mile marker 36 at the Kona side it's one way you drive around everybody right now is was parked at the very front because that's the only visibility mm -hmm. and it was stacked deep I did put a couple of those quick clips on Discord if you guys have Discord. Oh good. Of what it view uh what it viewed. What it looked like this morning when we first drove in. Remember we don't have the the uh shotgun mic on. I'm right next to the camera. No the uh, Oh you are next. that's where the mic is today, isn't it? I guess I get to talk loud. Leah Merritt, aloha, good to see you. How's the knee? The knee is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> right now it's really good. I'm sitting in the truck. The knee's horrible, but we're gonna get through it. Just gotta. It's gonna be uh, January. Just deal with it. And I'm not a pop, I'm not a pill popper. I don't take, you know, anything really. Sometimes I take Tylenol. Sometimes I take some ibuprofen if it, the swelling's up. But it's got to be really bothering me. Now I get home, I do an hour's worth of icing in the morning. I try to heat it up with some uh, Tiger Balm patches or some uh, Biofreeze spray. You don't even like those type Biofreeze spray. I know, I don't even like you it. You still do it because but mentally I, it's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> DT. <laughs> Derek, we're doing good. Thank you. Susanna, aloha. She says, are we in a different place today? Has the fountain stopped? So when we first... Uh, what is it? Went online. <laughs> when yeah. we first went live, yeah, we were having some blown out issues. So it's still active. It's just the clouds, the weather. Um, we are in front of the spot we found yesterday as we closed out our stream. That's the front of the lava flow. And we're sitting in the truck. Mm hmm. So this is where we're at. That's why I just. Oh, you can't see me. Can't see Anna. She's I, I can't there. move too much because no. I might knock the camera. Yeah. <laughs> We have some sensitive stuff up here on the uh, with wiring, and if we start moving things, we don't want to disturb it. So mm -hmm. it's uh, not as simple as just going live from your phone. It's kind of a portable, I guess, mobile studio mm -hmm. with a little twist. We do have, uh, yes, we got some lidocaine patches. Uh, what is that? Yeah. Is it from the Icy Hot? Icy Hot lidocaine patches. Yes. Uh, he doesn't use, you don't use that that much. I used, so, about, yeah. used them about four or five times. Yeah. I didn't really feel like they did anything. Really, I think his knee is so intense. I guess. Yeah. You need some strong heat. Yeah. Like strong heat on there. <laughs> it's just brutal. But I'll just keep going through it. Lisa Lynch, good morning. <laughs> My fruit. <laughs> Celine, aloha. Yeah. Th there's no more. Lava spewing, I can see at all. So you clouds. got one more appointment for your uh, the uh, other eyeball. That's good. Duct tape. <laughs> well, I think, you know, honestly, because I was a strength and conditioning coach for so long and had the skills to use the kinesiology tape, I used to tape up athletes all the time, as well as myself when I'd get injured. And I think duct tape... Works pretty good. <laughs> I love duct tape. We all love duct tape. <laughs> uh, it's part of life. If you had a heating pattern. You know, uh, Covenant Zoe girl. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, there's so many things that are limited here for us to get. Yeah. Um, where 
comes to supplies, food, certain items, mm -hmm. and they don't ship a lot of things here, or we have to order it from online. Yeah, we went, so everything is a wait for us. We went to uh, Target and Walmart and Longs, and they you could not find one of those little hot hand. What do you call those? I call them hot, hot hands. <laughs> hot hands. I call them. <laughs> I'm gonna have to order those. I call them hot pockets. I, yeah, hot pockets. Now you guys gonna get uh, you gonna get everyone to start talking about hot pockets and food <laughs> pizza pockets. Mm. Uh, did you notice where the local Hawaii news people are trying to downplay the event? For long story short, when you guys lose Saddle Road, uh, honestly, we have not had any time to really watch the local news. Um, we have I have pulled over and then talked to local crews on the ground because we've met them through the last couple months and just chit chat um we really have not had time we've been so busy with being up here going home trying mm -hmm. to do the maintenance on the 247 getting up videos answering questions mm -hmm. that we haven't watched much news our news is right here uh and that, that you know that's what i was saying in the chat earlier you didn't see it while you were driving we started early today because we wanted to catch up on a lot of miscellaneous work, yeah. news, um, you know, our photos and videos, a lot of mm -hmm. things to catch up on over the weekend. So yeah, that was that's yeah. what she's talking about. Is that we wanted to start at midnight so we can get home by seven and have a whole day to get things done. Sam's Club, we don't have Sam's Club. We have Costco. It's an hour and a half away. To, it's from here. It's still another hour and a, and a half. No, not hour, an hour, maybe an hour. Think, yeah. It's two You're hours thinking, from our house. We're not home right That's now. We're we're... <laughs> yeah. It's two hours. Costco's two hours from our house. And the problem with anything from the mainland that has a... They, we cannot and we or we have extreme difficulty getting anything shipped through Amazon uh, that has a battery in it. Mm -hmm. Just, it's impossible. Uh, we've had our items... Anything battery rechargeable, battery related, or battery related, we have shipped to our friend's house, and they ship it over here yeah. or family in the states. We try to use a, a middle shipper. Mm -hmm. and we Can do I have biofreeze. Yeah. yeah, I do use biofreeze. I have a, a container of it. It's another one. I mean, I have the spray because when we're out here in the field, I like the spray so I can spray it on mm -hmm. um, instead of getting it on my fingers, and then I'm. I'm kind of yeah. Nighttime, a you mess. usually use the patch. At night, I use the patch. Um, when you're done with work, he usually um, ices and has patches on. He does all that um, kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. What's up with the batteries? Well, Mandy, the they won't ship them. They just yeah. won't. Now, which is really crazy because some things will ship and some things won't. And we have a PO box because. Only UPS and FedEx will deliver to our house. The U.S. Postal Office Service won't deliver to our home. It's so it's so tricky. And maybe Oahu is different, but Big Island is pretty remote. I know Kauai experiences the same thing. Molokai and Lanai probably the same thing. But Maui and Oahu, it's more big cities. So they, they can handle, they get more supplies of things. Yeah. So are you in a truck? It is dark, secluded, <laughs> in early <laughs> morning. <laughs> yeah. We are in the truck. Hey, sitting in the truck here. We have one camera out the side. Anna's man in the camera. I guess it would be woman in the camera. <laughs> Anna's on the camera out the door. Uh, we're waiting to see if it, this pushes through. We did pull up the radar, and there is a massive set of clouds off island that have been moving through. We're not sure. Sometimes the, the volcano helps push the clouds out. I was saying yesterday, you know, weather plays a little bit of a role, and uh, we have less rain. Right now, It's there's not enough heat, I guess, coming up, and here it comes because we're still kind of in a rainy season. Tell you, oh, I got some scary campfire stories. I do. Mm 
Morgana Aloha MMG Joe Witch good morning everyone So we sit and wait <laughs> I am gonna move my blankie See, like I'm a child. Move my blankie around. <laughs> <laughs> it's chilly. But it's not as bad as standing outside. I just have it sitting on top of my lap there. Okay. Well, MMG says, I remember going to Oahu during the time back in 2016. Yeah. And it rained every <laughs> single day. Oh, you know, we do feel bad when One time people they... come over and uh, they Dawn. experience it. Uh, that's, uh, that's tough. <laughs> Don, Don, I don't we, want to hear we did that last face. year. Yeah. <laughs> we, last year, remember Don, uh, when Kilauea was a little bit quiet. We'd be on the chat a lot because there was there was nothing really to see. It was raining so much. Yeah. We tell stories in the live chat. <laughs> like, yeah. It was funny. Good morning, Raymond. In Kona, what's the weather like in Kona? Should be clear for you. Because when we were down at the rest area, turning into this new viewing area, it was clear as I was looking out towards uh, your way. <laughs> They're so funny. They want you to tell them a story. <laughs> you know, uh, some of you guys uh, that have been with us a long time, I know we say this a lot, but it's so that we can refresh uh, some memories and to let our new friends, Ohana here, know that we talk story a lot here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's always story time. <laughs> Grown-up stories are funny. <laughs> so at top of the hour, I'll give a, a quick update on the lava. I'll try to do the updates on the top and the bottom of the hour. Oh, look, I see something. we we'll get a little color coming yeah. in. Well, you can keep talking while I do this. And uh, keep you posted. I... There you go, looks nice. Mm -hmm. It's the front of the lava. Where we were so excited yesterday to be able to get kind of the front, middle section. We're actually, right in, we're at the we're at the front of it. We just can't see it. Yeah. So yesterday, uh, Hawaii Pod and Hawaii Tracker did their sh their uh, video <laughs> on. They did a live stream, giving all the updates. <laughs> I recommend checking out what's what they're talking about. I don't have all the facts and figures. They definitely do. As we sit here, we'll start gathering all the new data. And we'll give it to you as we get it. We're out here just wanting to point and shoot for you. You're welcome. Did we miss anything here? That's what I was looking up at. I'm scrolling up a little bit. Uh, Leah, I told her <laughs> she needs a Snuggie. <laughs> Our, our two daughters <laughs> used to wear Snuggies, and they're like, Mom, come on, just, you know, I'm like, no, I can't do anything, I can't move with this thing. And now, you know what, I should have listened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mark, aloha, Roxanne. Oh, no. Our mods are the fastest. Well, they've been training for two years for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Don, you're up early. Yeah, Don. What's going on? He's going to say, my phone rang. Uh, <laughs> Wake up call. Oh, you see his message there? I want to hear you a full Hawaii story. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Rom from Arkansas. Okay, scrolling down here. Black screen. No, looks like everything's working. Are you on the live right now? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Can see from my backyard again. Red fire glow in the sky. I'm a Mountain View. Nice. We're right there, uh, knocking. Uh, we probably. Lob a tennis ball from our house to yours. <laughs> the second night when we went out onto the highway from the house, right there at the, where you make a right to go to 7-Eleven, or you make a left to go up to Kilauea, 
I mean, we could see Mauna Loa just blowing oh, crazy. Took, yeah, the, it says go to the Tokunaga store. We haven't been there in a little while uh, since our last uh, fishing. Mm -hmm. Since we, oh, we bought our fishing gear. gear. That is a great store, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. It's like toys for me. You know, when <laughs> kids go into toy stores or candy stores, like, oh. Did you say Takungananga? No, I did not. That's how you <laughs> say it. <laughs> nope, have not. Good morning, Mike. Look, it looks clear. Mai. Yeah, I kind of figured, Raymond, it would be clear. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Oh, ooh. There's some visibility a little bit. Watch this. Okay. I would take, yeah. like to take this moment to please fasten up your seat belts. Yeah, I am not controlling the camera, so. If you have a, your Pez dispenser fully loaded with the drama mean, I suggest uh, getting yourself all set. Tulip to you. Good morning. Oh, I can see the top coming up a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a big old huh? cloud and flume kind of pull off when my catch. Yeah. Pez. It looks like it's pushing off, so... There's a great possibility we'll have some mm -hmm. good views in the next coming hour or so. Now, I want to remind everyone, we only have one camera. Yep, one um, camera, no picture up. in picture. Yeah, so we're, it's going to be... We're old school right now. <laughs> and it's right next to my face, too. So if it jumps really hard, moves really fast... Don't blame my fingers. <laughs> uh-huh. Don't blame her fingers, she says. Drama mean is ready. Good. Good, good. <laughs> At least you're warm right now. Yeah. I got the blanket on. Yeah. Um, We're inside the truck. Yeah. This was. This is a modified mini version. Oh, uh, of our if, future. Of if we had. Our future a, pineapple van. <laughs> <laughs> if we had a mobile HQ. Yeah. We'll be, be cooking nice. in here. Mm -hmm. Doing lives with you guys. Having I don't breakfast. Know if we'd be cooking in here. Yes, we would. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> she just took us from van to RV. <laughs> I just wanted a lazy boy and a big window to point the cameras out. <laughs> hang, on to, hang on to your uh, your needles tight because that camera will jump if she gets her paws on it. <laughs> there we go. We opened up a little bit. Yeah. How's the stream look on your guys' end? We I just went quick. I didn't even really make sure I was in 1080. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I I'm pretty sure we are. Mm -hmm. Marlene. Hey Marlene. Good We've morning. Missed you. Good to see you. Good morning, Zed. Trev. Good morning. <laughs> mobile pineapples. Oh yeah. We oh, yeah. we used to do a lot of fun mobile stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Gets a little silly sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ever since we upgraded to the, the the multiple cameras, the the encoding system, the computer system, you know, now we have to set up with four tripods, you know, five cameras. You know, it's battery packs. It's a project. So we don't really run mobile as much as we used to. But I did meet some interesting gentlemen this morning and. Uh, Really inspired me to dial up the uh, getting, oh, right on 1080, thank you. Dialed me in on getting uh, Starlink because we just getting throttled way too much with our with our service. Are you going to tell them who you met? Nope. We'll oh, save that for another story. Nope. Oh. Nope. Really cool people. Yes. Oh, you guys don't even want to know. Yes. Oh, they do know. It's a big rhetorical phrase, but. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to tell them then? Maybe another time. We're, uh, we're top of the hour. It's time for my update. We're five yeah. minutes late. Hey, You're five minutes late. Nobody reminded thank us. Thank you for the guys. reminder, gentlemen, <laughs> ladies. Can I have a... Yes, you can. Thank there you. you go. Good morning and welcome. It is December 3rd. Uh... Yes. 
<laughs> December 3rd, 2022, day six of the Mauna Loa eruption. We're Lou and Anna, two pineapples, and we are live off of Saddle Road in the new viewing area just north of Mauna Loa. She is erupting. This update is coming Friday from Friday, December 2nd. Why does it say it's December 3rd on there? That's weird. It's December 3rd, but they the last update was last night at oh, 5. Oh, I see. Okay. Before so this 30. comes from last night. See, you made me turn over. Now I'm taking them on a, a coastal uh, ride here. All right. The northeast rift zone eruption monolo continues with little change since this morning. One active fissure, Fissure 3, is feeding a lava flow downslope. Fissure 4 is sluggish, and Fissures 1 and 2 are no longer active. Also... There is no, we've gotten like a hundred messages, you know, that's, there's no other fishers, just the ones that I've mentioned. Hey, we got a $50 super chat from Paul. Thank, Thank you. you. Paul, so good. To, I didn't even see you come in, Paul. And he got the dance we've in We've missed avocado. you. Did you see the dance in Paul's avocado? Paul's been, also been with us for a very long time. Yeah. I did. I love that. <laughs> those good old days. Yeah. All those funny emoji stuff that you put on. The put lava together. flow. Remains active around Fisher 3. A cone is developing. That's new. It was measured at approximately 157 feet high. That's 48 meters for our uh, Canadian and international friends. Fisher 4 continues to be active, but with very little eruptive activity observed this morning. Advanced rates may be highly variable over the coming days and weeks due to the way the lava is in place on the flat ground. And oh, we're talking about what's it. straight out in front of us, but we can't see it. That was it. Well, that was a quick gurgle, you guys. But at least we caught a glimpse of it real quick. The gurgle stopped. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Additional breakouts may occur if lava channels get clogged up slope. There are many variables at play, and both the direction and timing of the flow advance are expected to change over periods of hours to days, making it difficult to estimate when or if. Remember what I said there. When or if. The flow will impact the the highway. It's a Daniel K. Inouye Highway. Okay, when or if, still not guaranteed. All is not lost. Volcanic gas plumes are lofting high and vertically into the atmosphere before being blown down to the west at high altitude, generating fog in areas downwind. Yesterday's live stream really demonstrated and showed how massive that flume is with the VOG, and it was kicking all the way uh, west. It was, it was pretty massive. Sulfur dioxide, SO2 emission rates of approximately 180,000 tons per day were measured on December 5th, uh, December 1st. If you're interested... Fifth. <laughs> if you're interested in more on the SO2, Hawaii Tracker and Hawaii Pod did a show with the scientists the, that talk about it. It was pretty good. Check it out. Tremor, let's see here. Tremor continues in the location of the current active fissures. This indicates that magma is still being supplied to the fissure, and activity is likely to continue as long as we see the signal. There is no active lava within the caldera, and the southwest rift zone is not erupting. We do not expect any eruptive activity outside the northwest, northwest, northeast rift zone. No property is at risk currently. If you're coming up to view the lava, please use the new viewing area. Don't park on Saddle Road. At the very front, you'll see everybody's parked in diagonally. As you're coming down, everybody's parking sideways. One lane that's going in one direction. One lane is for the flow of traffic. One lane is where people are parking. Please shut your door when you come in and please pick up your trash. I don't think I have anything else. On the update as of right now, that concludes our update for uh, this section. So thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. We appreciate all your support. It's Paul's birthday today. What? Six decades, decades old and watching Six an eruption. Six decades old, well, you know. <laughs> He's the awesomeness. Happy birthday, Paul. Happy birthday, Paul. I'm glad you... Popped in. Little Susie. Aloha, Hana. Susie, good morning. Barry, You're welcome. Daniel Jackson, we saw him. We are trying to give 
Christian, we're trying to give the information as we get it and often, as often as we possibly can. And we will drop the information every 30 minutes while we're live streaming, as well as on our 247. Thank goodness we don't have Tiggy awake. I'm hoping she's sleeping. Yes, we. She uh, has been running as she's been running harder than we have. We think. Yeah, because she goes on the twenty four seven as yeah. well. Um, I did not tell her anything yesterday. I didn't no. tell her our plans. I didn't tell her. The camera just. Oh, off. sorry. I the wire. Um, I did not mention to anyone, any mods, anyone on our stream that we were going to go live because I wanted everyone to rest. We both wanted everyone to rest. Yep. And she's probably lurking. Um, but I told her to take a break. She said, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Paul says, Luna, Anna, keep up the great work. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. You have a happy birthday. Angela Morris. Aloha. You're welcome. Angela. This is really kind of a teaser to sit in here nice and warm. <laughs> yeah, it is. But, you know, it it's a, a very pretty view. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice view. I'm glad this part cleared up. Mm -hmm. We still don't see the the floor. I don't even see a glimpse of red yet. Yeah, there's the, still the clouds on that whole strip. On we are the currently bottom. parked in front of the lava flow front. We just can't see it. Can you back out just a fuzz? Sure. Okay. There you go. A little more. Because you can see the flume up top. There you go. Whew. It's really kicking some emissions. I don't know if that's solely emissions, SO2. But it's thick. Or if it's, it's, uh, it's thick. clouds. It looks like it's SO2 all in there. Look at the different colors. Yeah. You want to show a little bit more of that? Zoom out, yeah. Just zoom out, nice and easy. Oh, there you go. There you mm -hmm. go. Now you guys can see what we're talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and move it up a Greetings little bit. From South Wales, UK. Aaron, aloha. Lori, good morning. Toby. Yeah, we don't have any information on uh, the OE Seamount. We're focusing on Mauna Loa right now. If anybody uh, here locally, our our sources are local. So if anybody locally here contacts us about any information about any other volcano within the Hawaiian chain that may be, uh, cause any kind of significant changes for us, we'll let you know. It is currently 314 in Hawaii. Thank you, Don. I need to put on the whiteboard a checklist of new things I need to add. I need a clock on here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's possible, but I will figure it out. I can do a scoreboard. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That doesn't help us unless we're fighting uh, or battling pigs on the highway. Which if you are driving up here, if you are on the island and you are driving up here, please be careful at night, especially with the moon bright. The hogs like to run a little bit more when the moon is out. And uh, we went right over the top of one. There were three or four of them hit uh, towards the mile marker 36. And they were... It just spread out all along the highway in the middle and all all over. So we got lucky. I saw a car in front of us swerve. It was about a half a mile in front of me. I saw him swerve, so I slowed down, kicked my beams up, and uh, I it was small. It was probably about a 60 or 70 pounder, so rolled right over the top of it. Um, just be careful. Now is the time for hogs to be running, and we don't want anybody to get hurt. I have to go to bed, guys, but I want to say hi. Mahalo for all you do. I will enjoy the replay tomorrow. Thank you, Leah. Good night, Leah. Workout interruption. Right on, Paul.
As with anything to do with Pele's hair, I'd recommend don't touch it, especially don't breathe it in. Take a picture and keep moving. Well, this is actually a lot easier. Well, life was easier before we got all the cameras and everything. <laughs> That's the price to pay. <laughs> <laughs> we're just sitting here Things with one get, camera. Yeah, one, one camera. Zoom. We're sitting in the we're truck. We're sitting down. Yeah, and we're not know. freezing. 2.15, Susanna says, p.m., cups, two coffees. have to go do my housework. Have fun with that. We have not done any housework for a week. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> it's exactly like deer problems. Man, it's exactly the same. You know, but we're used to deer and elk. And we were constantly dodging them. Now it's just hogs and pheasant. And people right now. Please don't walk across the highway here. Ugh. Mmm, coffee and donuts. Mm. We got the coffee. Oh, we do have some coffee cake. Yeah, I don't like yeah, you, it though. Yeah, that's too sweet for you, huh? Yeah, it's like all sugar. Cats rule, aloha, from Florida. Aloha. <clears throat> that's a good way to put it. Nature's fiberglass is exactly how to put it. Good call, Brandon. The 2P Institute of Volcanology. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you only have, only have one wire running on the camera, right? Or two? Two. Two, okay. HDMI um, and power. I'm going to try to be very, very careful. Be very like, careful. Are yeah, get, I'm doing my best. Are you getting hot? No, I'm getting my shoulder. My right side's cold because oh. it's the window. She's throwing the blanket over her shoulder. Yeah. I think she needs a... Snuggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to hear it. Yep, forever now. Forever now. Just trying to tuck the blanket in because the window's wide open for the camera. Just Okay, that's a lot better. Noah from St. Louis. Stephen, can't wait to be back on island. Hopefully catch a glimpse of this. We don't know how long she's going to last. Mauna Loa eruptions in the past have not been super long. Brandon's in Pittsburgh. Oh, Chile. Our friend Jay Gordon, you see him on here all the time with us. He's been with us since pretty much day one. Mm -hmm. He's probably running a snowplow right now. Yeah, he, he's not in very often because he's, he's working, working around the clock. Especially this time of year, yeah. Yeah. The hogs are not indigenous. No, the early Polynesians brought them here. Yeah, they've been here a long time. And they are everywhere. We were harvesting one a, one a day and sometimes three at one point a few months back off our property. Harvesting? Yes. It's a, it's a <laughs> polite way of saying it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? How could it be 19 degrees at the equator? It can't be so... It can't be... Uh, is that What's that 19 degrees in? You guys going to have to translate 19 Celsius for me. Guys, to try to show them. We would love Paul to go to Italy. Yep, little Susie, she's uh, told us the same thing. We'd love to get over there. And Italy, I've been a couple times. We just did that four month run to South America. We got to stay home for a little bit. Catch up on work, catch up on work and housework and. All that good stuff. It's probably 42 degrees right now. It says it's 66 degrees. 
not here. Translate it. No, translate it oh. from what you were asking oh, them I to see. translate. Or, um, oh my goodness. Yeah, Paul, we, we, uh, we're passing out pigs. I get one, make a phone call. Our freezer was full. I mean, you can only put so much in there. We like to, uh, make sausage, too. We don't really roast too much. We'll just kind of link everything up. And the... The meat is too tough and gamey for me. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Cool, Mike's cold there. Woo! How much is a helicopter tour? For the Mauna Loa tour for Blue Hawaii, I think it's right around six or seven hundred dollars. It's ex it's expensive. Oops. The other tours, like they do the waterfall tour. They'll just do a general, like, Kilauea rainforest kind of tour. Those are around the $400 prices. Uh, but I'm pretty sure when I looked, because I was looking the other day to see if they were grounded with the volcano. And they were, I believe, like six or 700 Bipolar weather. <laughs> we say that a lot here, too. It starts off... Nice and sunny at 8. By 9, it's raining. At 10.30, it's, we're sweating again. Dude. Yeah, it's a lot for, for a helicopter tour. I want to keep that or... No. Video should be here. Hey, Smasho, let's not uh, self-promote and dial things in for yourself. All video transmissions of this broadcast need to be approved by us before we go live. If you are restreaming, please stop your stream unless you have prior authorization. This is property of two pineapples. We put a lot of time money and effort into this and we'd appreciate some consideration on restreaming. I just saw somebody from Tejas. I would love me some brisket. <laughs> Gosh, I love brisket. Thanks. Marin, aloha. Bubba on Prime, a little from Lost Texas. Lost in France. Thanks for the live stream. Nothing but good memories of Big Island. It's a beautiful place here. Good to know that you came over. Now, next time you come over, bring me some brisket. <laughs> 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 and, you know, as much as I love brisket and uh, we have a barrel smoker, we got a pit boss, I'm not that good at cooking brisket. Our son is. I'm, I mean, I taught him how to barbecue, and then he went nuts with it, but I'm just not good at it. So when you get over here again, we'll get us a brisket. You can help me out with that one. How close is it to saddle? Our updates are in six minutes. We do updates at the top and the bottom of the hour. That gives us time to contact other people. Um, if Hawaii Pod, Hawaii Tracker have any new information... They'll let us know if USGS has anything. We only pull information from local sources that we know that are that are reliable. Thank you for subscribing. I actually miss all the fireworks and flare and everything. Yeah, it's fun. Fun stuff. <laughs> is it less active today? Only Fisher 3 is really active. We'll touch that at the top and the bottom of the hour. Uh, approximate elevation, we're at 6,600 feet. And the front of the lava flow was at 6,800 feet, I think, That's yesterday, the, right? Yeah. Yeah. All that information is on the main encoder. <laughs> 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 because I prepared everything, all this information on the encoding system. And now my phone is wired up to cameras and I can't even access anything. So... Bear with us. 
It's a visual show today. No, you're very welcome. We are happy to bring this to you. We're, we're very fortunate that we have friends here that help us. We have all of you that support us, keeps us going, and keeps us coming up here. We couldn't do this without you all. New Mako, David, thanks for your wonderful stream. You're very welcome. It's not the uh, big fountainy fisher that we've been seeing the last couple days. We are in a a, a storm front. It is foggy and cloudy and rainy. Actually, oh. what happens? You get Nothing. bit. Nothing. No. Well, you jumped like you got bit. Okay. Sounds like you need that. No, we know how to. Oh, roast I know a how to peter us. Believe yeah. me. Believe me. Just because I said I don't know how to cook brisket doesn't mean I don't know how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> I can roast. I've just never spent a lot of time doing brisket. Because I'd never ate beef. And I never ate beef yeah. until this year. I mean, you want a good tri-tip? I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Good night, Marin. We have an emu at the house. I know how to pit a pig. Oh, believe me. I, I'm a, I consider myself a very good cook. I'm just not a, never done a big brisket. A lot of, I've never done a lot of briskets. Are you at the bottom of the saddle? No, actually, we're right in the top middle. Uh, we're right across the street from the Mauna Kea turn. And mile 30, or I'm sorry, Mauna Kea turn off is right next to us. And straight out in front of us, uh, a fuzz up the, up yeah. the road is the Mauna Loa Observatory <laughs> access, which is closed. Now, you guys can see the fog and clouds. Not sure if it's fog. I think it's the low clouds. That's sitting right where the flow is right now. Yeah, it takes a, takes a while. 10 hours, 12 hours if you want a good brisket. And we have, the, we have a big barrel smoker. I love the Pit Boss. Easy peasy in that baby. I are Brandon. Aloha and welcome. Another reason we don't do a lot of brisket over here is price. Uh... Our beef here is extremely expensive. We, we're luckily, luckily, we fortunately now have a connection to get locally sourced beef from uh, a farmer. Local farmer. So that helps out tremendously. But if you go to the store, you know, you're paying 20 bucks a pound yeah, or more. Fair. We never, ever buy beef from the store. Yeah, Mar Marine, we, uh, we use the GPS and that's how we got the, the 6,600 feet. The last, uh, not yesterday, the day before. Oh, that's a, what. Uh, that's what I forgot, babe. Did you want uh, to put that on one of? Oh no. Remember you were asking yesterday. Oh, that's fine. Let me have my update. Bottom okay. of the hour. Ding, ding, ding. I'll answer this question real quick. Is the lava going towards the road? Yes, it's flowing towards the road. It's not angling towards the military installation. Yeah, oh, for yeah, our listing, just will, later. Yeah, I'm later. just saying later. Thanks for that reminder. Uh -huh. You're right. I missed that one, huh? Mm -hmm. So to answer that question one more time, it's flowing towards the road. I'm going to touch that in the update. Here we go at the bottom of the hour. Today is December 3rd. 2022. We're we'll doing just the, the importance. I'm going to summarize. Yeah. We're Lou and Anna, two pineapples. Thank you for joining us. If you're new here, please hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing, help this channel grow. I'm going to go through the quick summary of what's going on. The Northeast Rift Zone eruption of Mauna Loa, Mauna Loa continues. One active fissure, that's fissure three, you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen is feeding a lava flow down slope. The lava flow down slope is the front of it is directly out in front of us. We cannot see it because of the weather. Fisher 4 is sluggish. <laughs> Fisher 4 is sluggish. I said that to everyone yesterday. <laughs> Say I was like, that, that was three times. Funny. <laughs> Fisher 4 is sluggish and fissures 1 and 2 are no longer active. There are no other fissures. There have not been any other fissures other than 1, 2, 
and three and four, period. Fisher three is generating a lava flow traveling to the north toward Daniel K. and Newey Highway, other, otherwise known as Saddle Road, and, and has reached relatively flatter ground and slowed down significantly over the past couple of days as expected. As of 7 a.m. this morning, the flow front was about 2.7 miles, 4.3 kilometers, from Saddle Road. During the previous 24-hour period, the lava flow advanced to an average rate of 150 feet, 45 meters per hour. The lava flow remains active. Around Fisher 3, a cone is developing as measured. It was measured as approximately 157 feet high today. Fisher 4 continues to be active, but with very little eruptive activity observed this morning. So additional breakouts may occur if the lava channels get clogged up slope. There are many variables at play. Sorry guys, just got another message through. Again, and again, there are no other fissures other than one, two, three, and four. Regardless of what you may have heard, these are the only fissures. Volcanic, glass, volcanic gas plumes are lofting high and vertically into the atmosphere before being blown to the west in high altitude, generating fog in areas downwind. Paley's hair strands of volcanic glass fragments are being wafted. I like that word. Wafted great distances and have been reported as far as Mauna Kea Visitors Information Station. That's interesting. So it has to fly up. SO2 emission rates of approximately 180,000 tons per day were measured on December 1st. Tremors continue in the location of the current active fissures. This indicates that magma is still being supplied to the fissure and activity is likely to continue as long as we see the signal. There is no active lava within the caldera and the southwest rip zone is not erupting. We do not expect any eruptive activity outside the northeast rip zone. No property is risk currently. Other than that, the new viewing area is fantastic. Hats off to County who put this together. There is 100,000 cones up here, so drive slow. You enter in down at mile marker 36 by the rest area, and you it's a one-way, two lanes. Pull off to the right. Shut your, pad, your driver's side door when you get out. Please pick up your trash when you leave and enjoy. You're going to have to pull out your board up there. I'm going to change the settings, but I can't no, you because can't. You, your thing right here. Here, I can do this. What? I'll change cameras for you because okay. I can change to one camera. There you go. Now you can push it again so it's not so bright. It's really, really How's bright. That? Is that good? Now you can put it on your face. I was just yeah. saying. So you're clear to adjust that. So did I miss anything in the chat? That's our update. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here. So close to Saddle Road. Yep. Hilo's looking wet right now. The, the lava front is not guaranteed to hit Saddle Road. It's just if, maybe. It's it's pointed in that direction. I mean it's right here to my to my right and coming across this way, two and a half miles or so to the road. Yesterday when we shot that quick 30 minute vi uh, live stream. When we turn the camera on, you can see old cinder cones that are right here, and it the topography does go uphill a bit, so that might force it down slope. It may come up here and catch this and have to turn at some point. Once that lava hits there, cools, rises, we don't know. That's why they say it's not guaranteed. A lot of things can change. Allison, thanks so much for the $5 super chat. I gotta lean forward to read the chat. My chat on my screen is like this big. And you get the dancing avocado. There's an old, take the rocks from, yep. Please don't take the rocks, exactly Aurelio. Mi hermano in España. Check in, I'm just swiping up, looking at chat if I missed anything. So that's pretty much it for updates. I can't think of anything else uh, that I was going to put out there. 
For updates, we focus on Hawaii Tracker and Hawaii Pod. They're on it with data constantly all day while we're up here running around. They're putting all that together. Subscribe over there, hit that notification bell because they just spontaneously right now are going live once they have data they, they've collected. We have a new subscriber, Jackie Brothers. Aloha. How you doing over there? I'm tired. I have to, you get to stare at me while Anna focuses, uh, gets the camera it's dialed in. You good? I can just do that for now. All right, take because off. if I do, I can do uh, manual focus. Let me take a look here. Yeah, you can still do manual focus. Yeah. Back to there. I'm just, I just don't want it to pop up on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little blurry, but. Can I get off of there again, or? We do need a, I asked the, one of the cops yesterday, I'm like, when's the taco food truck get up here? Well, he asked that every time we pull in, we <laughs> stop and time. talk to everybody that's yeah. parked on the side. We always do. <laughs> yeah. Christian, it looks like it's slowing down because it is slowing down all the activities just in that one fissure. But also the weather is playing a significant role in what's going on. Thanks, Maureen. That's right. The, the, yesterday's spontaneous uh, live stream was fun. We had to go. We had to do it. Maybe uh, somebody can, one of the mods can drop that link in there. You can watch it later. I'm just trying to watch the whole thing. Mm -hmm. The grub truck. A breakfast burrito truck would be nice. Mm -hmm. Got a super chat from D.O. No, oh, a $10 super chat. Gas money. Thank you very much. It says... Aha, mahalo nui loa. Do you want to just use mine so you no, can no, no. read it? No, I just have to. I just have to lean forward. Mm. <laughs> Thanks so much, Dio, for the uh, ten dollars super chat. Appreciate that. Joe, good morning. Hi, Lou and Anna. Roughly, how far are you from Fisher Three? Well, straight up from us, it's a couple miles. So, if the front of the lava flow is two point five to two point seven miles from the highway, and we're kind of halfway between. So let's take off a mile. So we're probably f three, four miles five, up four in the four mile range from Fisher Three right now. I'm guessing. Now, now let's see there. Last earthquake we felt was that 5.0 weeks ago. Oh, chicken burrito. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> we uh, occasionally tend to turn this into the Food Network channel when everybody uh, gets going on what they're cooking and eating. The Pineapple Food Network. The Pineapple Food Network. Whew. I've been there. Sometimes waves just reach up and grab you and slam you. <laughs> Are you live? <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? Good morning, everybody. We are live at Mauna Loa. Yes, we are live. <laughs> I don't think we've done, I mean, we do on our 247 when we're set up and I'm live streaming and Anna's got her cameras out. She's shooting video for me to put up on the 247. That's about the only uh, non-live in a live that we do. It's just hilarious that so many people just replay a live stream. 
Oh, look, I can... That was alive. The visibility is starting to come out a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. So we're just now starting to see the front of the flow. Hallelujah. But there's a big rock in the way. I see it. Well, you see? Oh, yeah. We uh, can move. Yeah. No, oh, you don't have to we'll move wait. just yet. Yeah. Oh, wait till... Wow. It looks kind of creepy on the top. You see the gas? Mm-hmm. That's so cool. I'll go up there. Volcano Tours International. <laughs> yeah, jump in the back. We'll take you around. Marines going to bed. If you are on Big Island right now and you're joining us in 3.42 a.m. Hawaii time, thank you very much. We got you up early this morning. Thanks for hanging with us. If you are around the world, thank you for joining these pineapples. We're Lou and Anna, two pineapples, live at Mauna Loa. Yes, live. This is a live. This is not a replay. Oh my gosh, the blanket smells like Abby. Smells like the dog. Yeah. <laughs> Abby's puppy smell. Hey, on good there. morning, Ed. Rise good morning, and shine. Ed. Tourism up. Tourism is up this time of year. Absolutely. And now especially with Mauna Loa eruption. Mmm. Pea soup. You're not a big pea soup fan, are you? I am. I like pea soup. On I on on uh, State Route 99 in California, there's a a restaurant that was a I cannot remember the name of it. Oh, it's a pea soup restaurant. We used to stop there as kids. But on uh, uh oh, Tiggy's awake. Oh, geez. go ahead and finish your story. Uh, we'd stop there and have pea soup, and uh, never was a vegetable eater as a kid, but I, for some reason I always liked that pea soup. Who woke up Tiggy? Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting She's an like, early start. Hmm. I'm going to hear it today. Oh, mm. look. I already got a text. I already got a text. Oh, no. That's a real yell. She's going to be like, what's going on here? So the plan yesterday was we wanted to, we, not, we needed to stop in town and try to find these hand warmers for Anna. And like I said, went we to multiple stores. went everywhere, but uh, uh. didn't find nothing. And the game plan was to go home, do a few things, eat, shower, and, and hit the sh and hit the bed. We went to bed about four o'clock because we woke up at eleven thirty to come out here. We wanted to start streaming around midnight so we could catch a a quiet time where there weren't a lot of people and uh, catch the front of the lava flow. And, most importantly, all our mods would be sleeping <laughs> to give them a chance to take a break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody Google what that pea soup restaurant is on 99. I think it's in Williams. I think. It's in Northern California. Anderson's. Thank you. Anderson's. That's what it was. Exactly. Yep. Funny how you remember things like that. Mm -hmm. Some of us set alarms. <laughs> <laughs> we did too. Is this for eleven thirty p.m. Everything is good. We are sitting up here at Mauna Loa. Well, actually, not on Mauna Loa. To the uh, north of it. Yeah, you know those hand warmers that you shake up and they get hot? They were nowhere in... We have none and could not find any in town. We, uh, well, not couldn't find any just a few stores we yeah. went to but we are going to stop at a few stores yeah we're going go again to go uh, because Takuganunga yeah and haras it's only going to get colder throughout december so i'm gonna have to 
find something. Oh wow, other people have gone there. Zoe says she went there. Huh, right on. So Agrippine got in here. Bonjour. Lemon lady. Currently 3.45, we will give an update at the top of the hour. Nothing new and significant really going on. We're just in a in a holding pattern. Oh yeah, the front, babe, is all. Pull, yeah. Zoom out a little bit, see if you can catch well, that, was, see if I can yes. see that rock. And then I'll move forward or. Oh yeah. Forder. Forder. <laughs> I was gonna say forward or back, but I'm not gonna reverse. I'm just gonna go forward like 10 feet. All right, so now in the screen, you guys should be able to see the front of the flow right there. The clouds are pushing off, yeah. which is a great sign. Dawn says he's going to send us a box of them. <laughs> she needs them. Hmm, <laughs> pair of Uggs. They'll keep your... Your no, tootsies those, warm. Those are so expensive. Yeah. yeah. Now we did um, pull out the liners. We did have liners for our for when we in the cold weather. We had them from last year, so we're we have liners and our alpaca wool socks and <laughs> and our boots on. And fortunately, we're standing in the truck today, so mm -hmm. it's sitting nice. in the truck. Oh, sitting! I said standing in the truck. <laughs> You changed the coffee. I did. You just noticed it. Yeah, no, that wasn't on the screen yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very rarely. The bots work better with this software than with the other one for some reason. Mm -hmm. See anybody new chicken that we missed? Joey. The hot water bottle would work. Except, like, now it would work, but normally when we live stream Kilauea, we're hiking in a quarter mile or a mile. So, now we've got so much gear now. We have a buggy that we're pulling, a wagon. Before, everything was on our backs. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Mm. I'm reading, uh... Can't read the name on there. TikTok. There's yeah, a TikTok. Resettable hand warmers you can get. Little metal disc you bend, which starts the heat releasing process. You boil them for ten minutes to reset it. Hmm. Well, boiling it up here, we'd have to bring the cook set. <laughs> Not until we have our pineapple mobile. Yeah, we need to get the, the mobile. That's HQ. the future. Mm -hmm. Future ahead. <laughs> yeah. We, a great uh, suggestion, though. <clears throat> we built our home ourselves, and ever since we built the home, I've only heard this time of year, every year, how somebody wants a fireplace. I, I <laughs> it's refuse. not even that cold. I refuse. <laughs> and I guarantee you, the first week of a mobile pineapple HQ, she's going to say, and she's sitting in there, boy, it'd be nice if there was a little fireplace. <laughs> Good morning, Ray. Two dogs, Jima. Uh, Makao. Aloha. Baba. City and town where Anderson is. It's Anderson is north of Sacramento, northern Cal, on uh, State Route 99. 99 was a cr is a crazy highway. It's not yeah, was. It's crazy. It's old. Mm hmm Like a van, you can stand on the roof. Exactly. Two modifications necessary. Yeah, I don't know. Did you decide, or did what? we decide, if we wanted a van or one of those other ones? Um, there was two different things we were talking about, two different vehicle types. Van oh. and something else. What was the other one? Uh, was a van? It was just a van. 
Oh, I guess so. Yeah. First, no, I, I think I remember. Now. Oh, uh, if I want a cab over. Yeah, it was either going to be a cab yeah. over or a van. But we're like, you know, I might as well just do a van. Van, yeah. Could I, find a cheap van on, on Marketplace or something. Did they close the road yet? Oh, we're at, we're nine minutes from our update time. We'll go over everything. I'll just tell you right now, the road is open. Saddle Road is open. <clears throat> Good yeah. morning, Hard Rock Girl. Yeah, those little buddy propane heaters are sweet. That's what I would definitely get one of those. And she can pretend it's a fireplace. <laughs> I'll record some uh, crackling sound. Gee, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll record some crackling sound of a fire and play it for her. <laughs> no, I'll just give you the glare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, another police Lake Shasta. Oh, oh I love Lake Shasta. Gosh, so beautiful there. It's been so long since we've been in yeah. those mountains. As kids, it was every year we'd go up there as a field trip to the dam. Great bass fishing. Eight minutes, the top of the hour and the bottom of the hour, I do give the updates. So hang in there. Well, we can definitely see. Oops. Did you just sent me a link? Oh, the Andersons has multiple locations. I didn't know that. Cool. Good morning, Jim. I forgot to silence my notifications here. If you're just joining us, we are a few minutes away from giving our top of the hour update. We're Lou and Anna, Two Pineapples Live, in Hot Mauna Loa. Hot snaps. Hot snaps. Oh, I've seen these. I looked at this too. I put it in the cart. To, to view for later. These were here. I looked at these yesterday. Thanks, Tiggy, for the link. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, Jen and Tiggy sent me some links on different items with uh, warmers. I usually just get the huge box. And my mother-in-law sends me some. And um, I was trying to look for a different yes. alternative. Yes, Dennis. Work. The glare is... Uh the glare is actually an elevated. I'm still talking. Uh, I'm sorry. An <laughs> elevated view of the uh, of the stink eye. I prefer the stink eye over the glare. If you're looking at the screen right now, you can see in the bottom of the screen is the front of the lava. We are directly in front of it. We are not in any danger. It's moving at a snail's pace. What would you say the temp is here? I'm gonna say I'm sticking my hand out the window. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm not going outside, no. you guys. I'm gonna say it's cold. Yeah, but, it's pretty cold. We we were only outside for like 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, taking some front pictures and talking to the gate guy there. Mm -hmm. And then we were just freezing yeah. already. It's probably in the high 40s, maybe with the snow on Mauna Kea this time of year. Right here, you get that cool breeze blowing down. Diesel heaters make dry heat. Okay, so these say that it ships here. That's pretty cool. I'll take a look. Yeah, I think snails move faster. <laughs> Oh, we're, we are bundled up, Marilyn. With my blanket. Yeah. So we both have double, we have a, a sock, a sock liner, and our boots. We have what I call hot chilies, thermals, on under our jeans. And then we have a thermal top. And then two or three coats, or not coats, like two or three layers on. I don't even have my jacket on. Do you have yeah. your jacket on? No, I have no, the just blanket. just a hoodie. And then hoodies on. Yeah. And then Anna's got a... Uh, I have three layers, three sweaters on, and uh, with my thermal. And she's got and a wool blanket. blanket. Oh, yeah, a wool blanket draped over her. Well, it smells not bad up here, mm -mm. but when you go into town, a lot of spots in town smell. I went home yesterday. My eyes were burning so bad, um, itchy. We were both itchy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Till about four o'clock when I fell asleep. 
I think I laid in bed for five or ten minutes and was out until nine. Got up, did a quick check, make sure nothing, no no notices came in, and went back to sleep till eleven thirty. I woke up every hour and a half or so to take a peek in the chat, mm -hmm. see if the kids were behaving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Minneapolis, freezing, <laughs> freezing. Ed, what is a, what does that say? A bulletin? I don't know what a bulletin is. Brendan. No, you know. Holly Mau Mau, uh, not any significant changes over in Kilauea. I know we've caught some slack from new viewers, new subscribers. And why are you guys showing Kilauea? You know, Mauna Loa is erupting. Well, Kilauea is erupting also. And she's still erupting. She's still erupting. and uh, But there just haven't been any new updates. No. Their last update was October 28th. Mm -hmm. And we've been keeping an eye on that. All of our mods keep an eye on that yep. as well. We do focus on, we can do two things at once. Kilauea, we live on the downslope of Kilauea. It's about 20 minutes from our home. It's what we've been live streaming continuously for, oh, geez, over two years now since 2020. So we keep an eye on there. We haven't seen anything <laughs> substantial. We want to get back up there and film Kilauea. We'll be back up there shortly once Mauna Loa decides what she's going to do. There will come a point, I think, with the Mauna Loa eruption where some viewing is going to get difficult because of where it might end up. If they block off Saddle Road, uh, they might really limit some of the viewing opportunities. But that's still all up in the air. We don't have any. There's no. Uh, we don't know. The notice or notification or yeah. emergencies or anything at the moment. Okay, kids said that they were all behaving <laughs> on the chat last night. Good. <laughs> but we were good, Mom. Mandy says, uh, "Don't we don't have any snacks? We do, at this time of the night we don't really munch. Um, no. Yeah, when we get done, we'll probably go to town and to look for whatever we can." Yeah. Probably so. pick up a few items because we, we really haven't had the motivation to to do any grocery or do no. anything really. No. Just been work after streams we just go home and answer um emails, upload. messages, upload and do some work, fix the screens, mm -hmm. uh check the twenty four seven live. Just ha have our hands full. We barely even we barely eat. <laughs> we're not yeah, we're eating <laughs> yeah, we're one meal, eating. one main meal. And we then, do eat, yeah. And but, we'll snack. So we can keep our... Um, we got a bag of beef jerky with us. and Yeah. Yeah. All right, you want to hook me up on the update? And uh, we're at the top of the hour. I'm going to give you all the answers to your questions as best I can. Remember, we are not scientists, volcanologists, geologists. We don't make uh, we guesses. We don't make predictions. And assumptions and predictions. We just give you the facts that we have gathered from local sources that are reliable. So today is December 3rd, 2022. It is currently 4 a.m. on the Big Island of Hawaii. We're Two Pineapples, Lou and Anna, live at the Mauna Loa eruption. The summit eruption of the... Oh, what, are you, what is this one? Oh, that's Kilauea. Yeah, she just gave me the Kilauea. <laughs> Oopsie. She was... Checking. I was trying to see if they had yeah. a new update yet, and they still haven't. I but, check almost daily. All right, let's get back to Mauna Loa here. There we go. Uh, the Northeast Rift Zone eruption of Mauna Loa continues with little change since this morning. One active fissure, fissure three, is feeding a lava flow downslope. Fissure four is sluggish, and fissures one and two are no longer active. Those are the only four fissures on Mauna Loa erupting. There are no other fissures. Fissure 3 is generating a lava flow traveling to the north towards Daniel K. Inui Highway, that's Saddle Road, that has reached relatively flatter ground and slowed down significantly over the past couple of days as expected. As of 7 a.m. yesterday, the flow front, which you can see in the bottom of the screen, and it just zoomed out, but mm -hmm. you can still see the line there, that's the front of the flow, is 2.7 miles from the highway. 
During the previous 24-hour period, the lava flow advanced at an average of 150 feet per hour, 45 meters per hour. The lava flow remains active around Fissure 3. A cone is developing and measured approximately 157 feet, 48 meters high. Fissure 4 continues to be active, but with very little eruptive activity this morning. That's yesterday. There are many variables at play and both the direction and timing of the flow advance are expected to change over periods of hours and days, making it difficult to estimate when or if the flow will impact the highway. So to answer some previous questions I saw, it's not guaranteed it's going to hit the highway. It's not guaranteed it's going to flow through the military installation. Everything is still just a waiting game on that. The volcanic gas flumes are lofting high. We're experiencing VOG, and this is, a, this is me speaking, I'm not reading off the USGS update. We're all experiencing VOG on different parts of the island as well as up the island chain and around the planet. Apparently, this, uh, the emissions are spreading. We do have a survey we'd like to get out to you, so if you would like to, to fill it out and you're here on the big island, it'll help us put some data together we got that from Hawaii Tracker uh, so that we can, if you're in Hilo or Kona, you fill it out that you observed, you smelled the SO2. So if you're on Discord or Instagram or Facebook, please let us know. We'll get you that, that survey. The sulfur dioxide, the SO2 emission rates of approximately 180,000 tons per day were measured on December 1st. Today is currently December 3rd. Tremors continue in the location of the current active fissures. This indicates that magma is still being supplied to the fissure and actively is likely to continue as long as we see the signal. There is no active lava within the caldera. The southwest rift zone is not erupting. We don't expect any eruptive activity outside the northeast rift zone. No property is risk at risk. Okay, go back. The question I saw was um, any farms being affected. There is no farms in the way. There is no homes. There's no private property. There's no individuals. You're blurred out. Yeah, I know. Uh, I can't un oh. until you change out of there. Oh, let me show you my face. Give me a second. We're going to do a... We have to do a little something different because uh, we only have one camera. There we go. So, no farms. No, Nobody in the way. Everything is clear. Nothing's... Nothing's being affected. There are no evacuations. The only closure that I am aware of is the Mauna Loa Observatory Access Road. It's the only road that's closed. We're currently on the new viewing area road, which is directly off of Saddle, which is right there. We're right in the middle of Saddle Road and the lava front, the lava flow front, right in the middle. It's out there still a ways. So we're halfway between, so we're probably a mile maybe or so from the lava flow front and that's pretty much it if you come down this road if you're coming up here to view from Kona it's at the rest area there at mile 36 pull in it's one way in and one way out everybody's driving on the left lane parking on the right side please when you get out of your vehicle please when you get out of your vehicle I lost my light oh please when you get out of your vehicle make sure you shut your door so that people can drive past you safely pick up your trash We've uh, collected on pretty much a, almost a full 55 gallon of trash can full of trash in the last six days. We are day six on the eruption. We've been up here every single, I guess, morning since, it's since the there. eruption. Today is December 3rd. And we will continue to monitor and put out the information as we get it and, and film for you guys and stream from up here for as long as uh, we can. So if I can see, I'll take a look in the chat and see if there's any questions if you had a question and a mod didn't grab it and you need me to answer it or you'd like me to answer it go ahead and put it up there again at two pineapples so it lights up orange so i can see it maybe drop a thumbs up or a pineapple or two on there that'll kind of get my attention i'm looking i'm looking my chat is on my screen in front of me we are set up mobily different from our normal system where we're running multiple cameras we just have our one of our uh, big cameras set up that Anna's controlling right now with this camera that you're looking at it's a little bit of a modified system it's what we used to use so that we could move when we first pulled in here this morning there was so much 
uh, cloud cover and weather that we couldn't see anything from this point here. So we drove around again to uh, you know, try to find something. And we didn't want to set up outside permanently because we can't just pick up, once we set up the big studio outside, we really can't just grab and go. We need to be able to grab and go so we did a modified version. So today's kind of cool when you subscribe, if you drop a super chat, if you be become a member, you get the cool little screen stuff that pops up on there because this is how we used to stream with one big camera over a year ago. Um, don't see any questions. So I think that pretty much gives us a, our update. Quick summary, still erupting. Fisher 3 is the primary. The lava flow front is right out in front of us, 2.7 miles from the highway. Nobody's in danger. There's no evacuations. Everything is good on the island right now. I think that's it. Unless I see a question come up on there. Mods, so I've got a, all the mods in there. We're all good. I can't get a good picture, so I'm just going to leave it like this here. There. Yeah? Yeah, okay. the focus is all weird. All the settings is not the same as when I first originally used the camera. I don't know which one is which anyway, it doesn't matter. Ms. L, good morning. Yeah, you're going to see the camera wobble a little bit like that because we are in the truck. So it's going to wobble a little bit more than normal. Pull out of there just a fuzz. Is there a fly zone for drones? No. Uh, there is no official fly zone for drones. We have a drone. We, we can fly. We won't fly up here. There are too many people trying to fly drones. And we are not going to risk our equipment. Also want to bring up that if you are not from Hawaii, you're not a Hawaiian, you come up here, please show some respect. This is a moment of uh, reflection for them. It's a moment, that, a time that they come up here and, and pray. Please show some respect. It is not a theme park. Either. It's not a theme park. <laughs> Oh, my right side is getting a little chilly. Mm. Well, I'm glad we got the somewhat of a view back. Mm -hmm. well, we do a lot of things besides we whacking. We spend a lot of time on our yard. We do. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, we do a lot of other things too. Yeah. We build a lot. Mm -hmm. We farm. Yeah. We go out adventuring sometimes. Yeah, we do have other things that we do. We have a big greenhouse that we've been uh, germinating all our seeds, getting ready for spring. We didn't hold over anything in the greenhouse this year because we've been finishing parts of our home. So we needed the time to do that instead. The greenhouse is a 25 by 30 it's pretty big so we just pulled everything instead of holding over some plants and uh, we'll be back in the greenhouse we'll be weed whacking and back to the farm as well as the other places on the island that we like to visit mm The one sign we do, we've seen two signs. We posted a picture on Discord. Don't walk on the lava. And two, if you park on Saddle Road, you will get ticketed $1,000. How do we get fresh water? Keith is asking. Keith, we have a water catchment system, gutters on the house. We have a, a daily supply of rain almost. So but that's not drinking that's water. That's not our drinking water. Yeah. That's just our house water. Mm -hmm. And then... All over the island, there is free water spigots, filling stations, everywhere. 
So we usually bring, how many containers do we have? Six, uh, eight. 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 Eight, we have eight three gallon containers. We don't use the five gallons because they're just a little bit too heavy to lug around. Yeah, they're not joking on parking on saddle. It, it was getting dangerous. We had several wrecks. We had one accident happen with involved six people that all went to the hospital. Uh, it's not good. We have only seen some other, we've seen some county officials today. We've talked to the police and we have talked to some other gentlemen that are doing a documentary and doing some big time filming. We'll talk about them later. Hey, our windows are fogging up. You're hot breathing. You're hot breathing. Oh, well, that's what we haven't touched. The lava temperature. The temperature of the lava in the caldera, in the, uh, the caldera, in the fissure is 2100 degrees Fahrenheit, which I believe is 1100 or so Celsius. Oh, you have an outbreak on the far left of the lava front. Not really an outbreak, but a kind of just a bubble over. Do you see that? Mm, and it looks like we may have some uh, people out there. I see headlamps. I don't believe we have any scientists that are out there. They could be. We don't know that. Tell them on the side. Yeah, but you're way blurry. Yeah. This is just what your setting is on for this. Mm -hmm. It's blurry. Mm -hmm. Can we get out of there? Yep. All right, back to me. I just got to adjust the camera a bit. So I'm going to go through here. Did I miss any questions? Hey, somebody had a birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, I missed the name. What happened? Dolene's birthday. Happy birthday. I have something for you. Since we're on this software, I can do this. Happy birthday. Currently 4.14 a.m. on the Big Island of Hawaii. Sam, we have not done any house chores at all for the week. Everything's piling up. <laughs> Just a little cleanups <laughs> here and there. Just a little bit here and there. Good morning. Bear with us. Anna's over there. We are on a modified mobile system with one of the cameras hooked up. She's just trying to dial in the focus. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult because I haven't... I'm not going to make... Thank you, Nightbot. Enjoying our channel? Consider supporting Two Pineapples. Hit that big subscribe button. That was is one of the biggest ways to support us. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that when we do go live spontaneously, you know what we're up to. This morning, we planned on going live somewhere around midnight. We wanted to get up here early, recon, get set up, and uh, go live. We didn't put up a set time because right now, things are kind of wonky we don't know how long it's going to take us to get up here whether it's weather we don't know how many people are going to be up here we like to come up here 
early morning after 12, 1 a.m., it the crowds are gone. This is no longer a, a Black Friday Walmart parking or what, what was it called? Oh, Boxing Day uh, uh, in Canada parking lot. All right, Dennis, back later on laptop. It is Saturday, so I expect more people to be rolling up here during the day. If you're curious about the updates, it's 4.15 a.m. We will do an update on the tops and bottoms of the hour. If anything comes through in a message significant of a change, we'll put that up. I can't get it to clear up. No? No. Can you jump over there? I've tried every setting possible. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to go uh, try and help out with the camera. I can't get it to adjust. <clears throat> Hang on, B-Balls. Okay, I'm gonna yeah go from the back because um the tri the door is holding the mini tripod here. It might tip over. Hang on, guys. We're here just to, so you guys know. <laughs> he has to climb. We gotta up. climb over the back. <laughs> yeah, we can't. Okay. Um, let me scooch down. <laughs> just so you guys know. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, wonky. It's Look, he's, <laughs> and I'm hunched over. I'm trying to move. <laughs> Hang on, you guys. Talk story. Some somebody, somebody do something. Somebody say something. <laughs> Leading sideways. Because these glasses are progressives, I can't see. Where's your other pair? At home on the computer desk. Oh. I gotta get out. I can't do it like this. Try this. Oh, try the middle section. Turn it. You want me to turn it? I want to take it off for a second. You guys, I'm gonna lose everything because I can't get it back in this thing. Okay, here, just easy on your hand. Mm -hmm. you're, you're just gonna. Got it in there. Put her back out there and see what you got. The one thing I don't, the one thing I don't like about these progressives, if you tilt, tilt your head sideways, you can't see anything. Yeah, maybe that's. Let's see what you got out there. All right, just do a pan in and out and see. If, there you go. Nope, almost. It's the same with my glasses too. Looking down and up and sideways because I'm getting cramp on my side here. Go, go up. Uh, well, that's the autofocus, huh? 
I did manual and it's still kind of yeah, so pan it out and nice and easy slow see if it'll catch mm -hmm. it's even worse All right, let's change seats. The problem is... I know, the tripod. Yeah. Okay, you guys hang on. Hold on to the tripod. And the wire is all over the place, and it yeah. will really I'm, just tip over. I'm going to help you. I got okay. the tripod. Hang on, you guys. we got to make a rotation. Get the blanket. There you go. We're switching seats real quick. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay, so yeah. when you close the door, you have to wedge it onto <laughs> okay. the seat. Lock in. Yeah, you have to wedge it All right. next to the door. So gotcha. it doesn't move. All right, guys. Let's get this dialed in here. Everybody's like live action. Oh, it's live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no stabilization. The tripod is just like hanging on the side of our set on uh, the passenger side where I was sitting. Where's the headlamp here? All right. And the camera is inside the truck, and yeah, it's not locked in the tripod. Yeah, either. It, it's it, that's why the focus goes in and out because every time we move, it just goes rock a bye, baby. All right. Almost there. In there. So down below here is the lava front. How we look? Oops, I lost it. I'm not totally locked into place here. You know what we can do? Just stick it outside the door now. The uh, cord's not long enough. Oh no. <laughs> We're locked into mobile. We'll get it. Give me a little cockeyed. Ha, 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 ha. 
And you guys all make a great point. <laughs> Are we live? Yeah. <laughs> because of all the technical issues. We're definitely live. And we had to go mobile. Yeah, we can't move anything outside no. as much as we want to. <laughs> yeah, as much as we'd like to. Yeah, so it's just all over the place and we have no secure placement of... Yeah, and this cord isn't uh, long enough to yeah, set. Yeah, the cord Because I agree with enough. you, we could set the tripod right on the ground and dial it in, but nope. Yeah. <laughs> if you just joined us, we are live. Mm. And uh, no, we're not filming from a boat. <laughs> it might feel like it at times. It may look like we're on a boat, but we're not on a boat. Allison Scales, mahalo for the super sticker. There's a nice full shot. I don't know how clear it is on your end. No, it's super blurry. Can you hit the blurry. hit camera one? Uh huh. And so that's gonna show you. I don't think they want to see my face, and I don't talk very much. You're gonna have you to talk. You guys gonna have to. You guys gonna have to. Um, Help me. Oh, thank God. There you go. That's so bright. You guys know me with the bright lights. Okay, can you guys see me? There. It's kind of scary. Watch out. We'll do that. It's a little dim. Okay, you guys can kind of see me now. While wow, Lou works the bugs here. Um, there is no stabilization for us with the tripod or the camera, so... The focus goes in and out, even if we lock it or put it on manual. Yeah, and what you mean by stabilization is that we're in the truck, so the mm -hmm. truck moves, and then we have all the VOG mm -hmm. up there. And but our, we are here. But we are here. <laughs> that will be, uh, I can't see that far from loose device here. It's right in front of me. So I'll read and not. Uh, doesn't work. No? No, I got it. You focus on that. I mm -hmm. got this. No, the lava has not reached Saddle Road. It's about two, it's 2.7 miles out still. Um, the focus where on the bottom, the front. Here we go again, you guys. The front of the lava is where it stops. You can see the flow has gone to. Oh, you guys can't even see me anymore. Hey, what happened? Here. Let me adjust the camera here. Whoops. Can you guys see me now? Here. Whoa. You want to look at my screen? No. Or that one? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm just trying to get things stable so mm -hmm. they don't keep shifting on me. Yeah. Let me see here. Aloha, you guys. If you guys are just joining us, um, modified live stream, mobile, in the platypus truck. <laughs> Lou's working out some uh, focusing issues here. We will be at back to lava viewing shortly. Lori Winters, good morning, Marion. Still. No, I'm getting better. it. I'm getting it. Yeah, it's getting a lot better, you guys. Almost there. Oh, they really can't see me. All right, try that. Okay, hang on, you guys. Oh. Wait, hold on. Don't. We're a mess. Okay, see me now? <laughs> Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Tim, aloha. Let me know when you're ready. I know. Good. <laughs> See. All right, give that a shot. Okay. Oh man, the camera keeps dropping on me. Nope. Yeah. Oh, the 
worst. Oh, shit. There we go. Let's try that. <laughs> I hope drama means ready. Just so you guys can see that we are live. Now just it will get there. Good morning, Laura. see how clear this is all right switch her over it's been switched oh. they've been walking you uh, watching you monkey around yeah yep I hope everybody's got their drama mean So we were focused out there or panned in on Fisher 3. And we are sitting in front of the lava flow wall, about a maybe a mile and a half out in front of us. It's 2.7 miles from the road, and we are in the middle of the between the highway and the lava front. Once we get a little bit more ambient light coming up here, it is currently 433. Um, we'll figure out if we can actually move down and outside and stabilize. We might be able to, huh? Yeah, if if you grab that, mm -hmm. I can just hold on to these. There's only these two wires, right? Well, we can disconnect that. Yeah, we and disconnect this and t for now. Yeah. You guys hang on real quick. Uh, real quick. <laughs> real quick, uh, we're going to attempt to go outside and set up out right in front here. Um, and see if can you, stay. where's the top of the, um, the, the piece you had for your phone to hook your phone up to the tripod that we Might used yesterday? There. Yeah. I can't move. I'm, I'm holding the oh, I know. tripod with my thigh. Mm -hmm. That piece? I can't see. I see the cool, the thermos. The end piece right there, the gray that's on that no. camera right there. The piece that holds the cell phone on there. It was on the top of the mini Probably tripod. Probably in my bag. This piece. Yeah. So that where do you want this one? On this? No, I want it on a big tripod, and then the, we can unclick the phone from the that support there. Mm -hmm. Put it in here. And so screw this onto a big tripod. Okay. I'm gonna screw it onto the first tripod I can grab. Yeah, don't even worry about which one it is. They all work. We are working on plan B, y'all. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna have to get out, but there's cars coming, so I the top piece on there? No, on oh. top of the dash there. Yeah, let's 
see that. Screw that on. Yeah, just... Okay, again? Yeah, until till you see the... There you go. There you mm -hmm. go. You're good. You're good. All right. It didn't like that, did it? No. Nope. I think we're still live. Are we still live? Yeah, we're still live. Still live, you guys? <laughs> okay, watch out on moving those because that's what's going to disconnect our live right there. Okay. Okay, and go ahead and grab the now, phone. Now, just, just a heads up. If we get disconnected, it's because the wires and we're trying to move back outside now so we can get a stable image. If we get disconnected... We will be back. We'll be back in about five minutes once we get everything set back up. Mm -hmm. So bear with us. If we go, If we go dark, get a cup of coffee... And we'll be back. Talk, talk stories amongst yourself, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Okay, I think I'm going to hold this mm -hmm. while you take that. I'm going to hold this this way. Okay. That way, once you set that one up, yeah. I can pass you this. Instead of me trying to get out the passenger side with oncoming traffic, it's okay. going to be sketchy. Okay, hang on, let me tighten this. Goodness, if you guys can see this, I wish there was a camera to record us doing this. This is kind of insane. <laughs> it's funny. Is this a snap on? Or yeah. do you have to twist something here? It's a snap on. Huh? Snap on. Let me get this tripod set here so I can just put this down. Ready for you. Okay, that's down. It's not level, but level enough. Yep, for now. Okay. Is there a car coming? Is there a car coming? No, you're clear. I the windows. Yeah. All right. All right, we're a little angled, but we're getting there, guys. We just gotta shut some doors and. As we mentioned, it will be a few minutes till we get everything situated. Okay, I'm gonna shut this door. Oh. We're almost there. Nothing's falling apart yet. Uh, live still running. Live still running. Unbelievably. I still got a picture of the, somewhat of a of the lava out there. Okay. Okay, let me get a light that. so you can see what you're doing. Hey, thanks for subscribing. I guess uh, oh. during our mess. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Oh, you're in. Woo. Smokes. That was tough. Wow. How did okay. you get out of that screen there? I can't see anything. Okay. All right. I am going to try to get us a view here. Loosen this up. And I'm going to. Yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna get a get a view going here, and then we got to get our jackets on because now we are outside.
Okay, I'm gonna hold you guys right there. I'm sorry if it's not in the greatest of focus, but uh, whew, I gotta go get a jacket on. We are live. All right. Oh, thank you everybody for hanging in with us while we did a major modification. Goat poop. Goat poo. Yeah, goat poop. Goat nuggets. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry if it's out of focus. We're still just trying to get warm. Real quick here, get some jackets on. It's like probably in the 40s right now. And uh, I'll dial in the colors and the focus and everything in a minute. Ooh. Battery pack? Yep. That's better than a camera. Still on? Yeah, we're on. I just saw. You're welcome, everybody, and thank you. For hanging with us. <laughs> Sorry about the uh, normal morning roller coaster ride. <laughs> about us is we can modify on the fly, and when you're live, you're live, and you gotta go through it with us. So, in the very bottom of the screen now, you can see. That is the lava flow front, which is 2.7 miles from the highway, and we are on the highway. It is not moving at a pace that puts us at any day. It's moving at a snail's pace. Okay, I'm going to get right behind you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, you got the tripod? Yeah. Paul just sent a $50 super chat. Again? Okay. Paul, it's your birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. <laughs> One more for all the hard work. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas, Paul. Appreciate that. It's Paul's birthday today. Okay, me, He's giving us super okay. chats.
Uh, yeah, I know, um, yeah, currently 4.46. It is 4.46. set up so close to the truck. I know. When you get your hands free when you're done, yeah. we'll uh, we'll make a slide forward a little bit. Slide what? Go up. A little? Yeah. Okay, so can you see? Just like two feet, yeah. There you go. That just gives us a little clearance behind yeah. it. No, I don't have any batteries hooked up. Over here. There you go. And is there an extra headlamp on the console? Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I'm gonna need it. It's got it's colder up here than inside the truck. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely colder. Alright you guys, I think we're All right. now. <laughs> Thanks for hanging with us. It looks like we lost about seventy people, but yeah. we apologize. <laughs> Things happen and uh, it doesn't always run as smooth as we like, so mm -hmm. hanging with us. We're out set up outside, we're still just on one camera. Thanks for subscribing, Sarah. Uh, we're gonna flip the camera back around and see if we can dial some stuff in. Matter of fact, can we talk for one second? Hold this. Okay. I just wanna try. Don't shine on me. Well, I just you do it to me all the time. <laughs> Oop. Oop. <laughs> well, you guys, uh, appreciate you guys hanging while we try to get things a little situated. Um, we are done. Just okay. <laughs> Besides uh, little focus issues and getting some other cameras. Even if it's not that clear for some of our, um, that one camera that's connected. We're going, I'm trying to hook up the other camera right now so we can get some footage for later. Uh, appreciate you guys. Still here. Let me see here. Uh, okay, oh, I'm going to go here. Gonna read this you can read chat. So that is a, that's on the front wall. There you go. So that is on the, the forward wall moving towards us right now. So I'm gonna switch over. And out a bit. Isn't that wall pretty cool? That wall is out in front of us. That point that I'm showing you right now is 2.7 miles from the highway. Again, we are standing between us. No, we are standing between the lava front wall and the highway. I think I burned a thousand calories. 
Yeah, I know, Prescott. We this our other headlamps um, are somewhere in the truck. We can't find. We can't find them. We and, have like four headlamps. And I think this headlamp that I have doesn't use a red. We always use a red lamp. Yeah. We've been li we've been live streaming at night for over two years now, so we're pretty familiar with uh, how to save our faces and our eyeballs. Mm -hmm. It's just that we've been streaming nonstop for six days. Everything's at chaotic night for us and tired. You know, we've been up here on the mountain for anywhere from eight hours uh, between the drive and the setup and the go home. You now things are a little bit chaotic. And we work on a lot of videos for our uh, a lot of our other volcano yeah, we family have, too. Right. So we have our hands full. Yeah, we go home and it's not like we just get to go to bed. We're uploading. You know, we are we're working with uh, Geology Hub, Hawaii Pod, Hawaii Tracker, Afar, Volcanoverse, uh, World Cam. You know, we're working with a, a lot of other volcano uh, volcano channels out there. So we're trying to get uh, as much information, video that we can out to other channels so that they can help educate and inform their viewers as well. Is the Overwatch building open? I don't know where the Overwatch building would be for here. People. Oh, found myself some garbage. Nice. She's already picking up trash. Yeah. Gross. Oh my, I don't even have the battery in this thing. Huh. Yeah, the channels that I mentioned are the channels that have the permission to restream, use our videos. Um, we are partnered up collabing with them. Try again. Yeah, it's not moving fast at all. Thank you, Anita. We appreciate it. Well, since we're looking at lava, let me see what I have here. Don, thank you for coming. I like to see those, see where we're at. We are approaching the 5 o'clock a.m. hour. I will give an update at 5 a.m. on the current conditions any information that we have I can't tell is that actually people that walked out there it sure looks like it hey Dr. Fox I think I saw you, somebody mentioned you earlier that you came in but I might have missed you it's been a little chaotic this morning Dr. Fox also has permission to use all of our video or any snapshots he pulls. Dr. Fox has a show. Yeah, Tiggy, that's kind of what I figured. We will not be walking out there unless we are escorted by the right people, USGS. We are going to keep our distance. The camera is picking up lights in the bottom left. Do you guys see that? Can't tell if that's a drone flying super low. All right, Aurelio, take it easy. Yeah, Gary, the, it's not allowed. There's a lot of things that aren't allowed that people keep doing. And that, to me, looks like people out there walking, wouldn't you say? That's, that's, those are headlamps. 
Those are people out there walking. You guys know us, we are not big on breaking the rules. I got me too, I'm tilted. We set up on rocks and we're still trying to get cameras level. Let's leave her there for a minute, see if we can see anything moving. Oh yeah, a little bit, huh? Fingers are already nice. They're probably ready to break off. Yeah. It's like instant. So we're here at the 5 o'clock hour. It is 4.59 a.m. on the Big Island, Hawaii. We are Lou and Anna, two pineapples. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We have uh, had an interesting morning since we've been set up in the truck because of weather. And now we're back outside. Setting up for us is not as simple as you may see other live streamers where they just use their phone. We have multiple cameras. This morning we went to our older system where we can hook up one big camera. So we still have a zoom. So things got a little wonky for a while, but thank you for hanging out with us. We are live at the Mauna Loa eruption. It is still erupting. Fisher 3 is the primary source of what's coming down that you're looking at there. The you want the update? I think our brains are mush. I know my brain is mush. <laughs> we are tired. This is day six of the eruption. We've been live streaming every night up here. Got up this morning at 11.30 to come up here. It takes but, us but, 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 hold on. We would like to tell you we feel refreshed. Yeah. So I don't want yeah. to make them feel bad that no. we're tired. No, We're not tired in that way. I mean, like, you know, and I'm getting kind of tired. No, when, I, when we got up this morning, we were having coffee, I said uh, I felt pretty good for getting up at 11.30. Thank you. So today's, so today's December 3rd, 2022, day six of this eruption. Fisher 3 is feeding a low flow downslope. Fisher 4 is sluggish, and Fishers 1 and 2 are no longer active. The log flow advanced an average of 100 feet and 150 feet an hour, or 45 meters per hour. The lava flow remains active. Around Fisher 3, a cone is developing. is measured at approximately 157 feet high, 48 meters. Fisher 4 continues to be active, but very little eruptive activity observed. That was yesterday morning, as well, and I feel the same today. Uh, what else is pertinent? Volcanic gas plumes are lofting, and SO2 is at 180,000 tons per day. If you are currently on the Big Island as a tourist or as a local, I would appreciate if you contact us either through Discord, Messenger on Facebook, or Instagram. If you have our cell phone number, you can text us. Please don't put your personal information up here. We have a survey that I got from Dane at Hawaii Tracker. Uh, that helps record the SO2 is a survey. We'd appreciate it. We can get that out and get some people filling it out. And doesn't matter if you're in Kona or Mountain View or Kau or, or Javi, Hilo. We like to collect the data of the SO2 traveling around the bog around the island. 
Uh, tremors, still getting earthquakes, nothing really significant. There's no active lava in the caldera up top. South to re southwest rift zone is not erupting. We don't expect any eruptive activity outside the northeast rift zone. No property is at risk. This is flowing towards the highway. It's not guaranteed it's going to hit the highway. It's not guaranteed it's going to hit the highway. It's not guaranteed it's going to hit the military installation. We're just in a holding pattern of watch. If you're coming up to view the lava for the first time, at mile marker 36, that's where the rest area is at. That is a, it's a one way in and one way out. You pull in there, watch out. Last night or yesterday sometime, county put up a lot of cones to try to keep traffic uh, tight and organized. But it is, it's tight. Drive slow. Everybody's driving on the left-hand side of this road, parking on the right. So when you get out of your vehicle, please shut your door and please pick up your trash. Do you have anything to add? <coughs> Excuse me, I have to cough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think that concludes our update of what's happening. If now we... back to a regularly scheduled program. <laughs> well, there we go. We see a little lava moving there, don't we? Hey, good morning, Laura. Aloha to you and Jamie. Yeah, this is yesterday when we were out here and we were leaving is when we spotted this front. The lava the lava flow wall. We we stopped and immediately grabbed uh, what we could to go live and just tell you, hey, this is where we are gonna set up tomorrow. And we got up here at midnight. 30 and we're like oh man it is blown out we couldn't see our hand in front of our face so we drove around what did we go around twice yeah yeah so we came in through the visiting the viewing area and out and then we did it again trying to find a location where we could stream from come up with some type of plan this is the this is how it ended up Yes, you are going to see fireworks and uh, dancing avocado for the super chat. I don't know, for we're members. Because we're using different software. Yeah. yeah we are on our uh, system that we used a year ago. Year oh, plus. Year plus now, yeah. We, we have been live streaming Kilauea for two years since December of 2020. And this is what we used to use so that we could still hook up a big camera and get zooms. I might have to put my gloves on. You know it's cold if I'm looking for my gloves. I think it's too cold for everyone to stay. Mm -hmm. They're only coming out of their vehicle for like five A minute, minutes. yeah, quick. There was quite a bit of traffic coming down the mountain we were coming up, but I think that's because of the weather was so bad up here, and now it's so cold. This is the cold part of the morning. I don't really see one in your glove. Let me continue walking. Okay, one's good. One's a good start. Let me find the other. Okay. Oh, there goes my glove. Oh, Found it. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I'm not touching the camera. The camera's gonna. We're gonna stay on this wall for a little bit until I can warm up my digits. Yeah, like Lou was saying, if he has to wear gloves, then it's pretty cold. He yeah, never. I never wear gloves. Wears gloves. When we were summoning Mono, um, when we were summoning Mauna Loa last year, or last July. Uh, I never, I never even put my gloves on. My hands were fine, and it was in the in the teens. For some reason, I guess because I'm not moving. Victoria's is slowing down. 
Yep. Oh, that's a great idea. If you're just coming in, Waterloo and Anna, two pineapples, live, stream, live streaming at Mauna Loa, go ahead and please take a second and hit that thumbs up. I just saw a thumbs up come up. Thank you very much. Yeah, Tiggy, you know, and, and now we're only going to be, we only have one camera set up. We can't hook up multiple cameras with this system, unfortunately. It is 5.08 a.m., and uh, we're not going to bust out the whole studio this morning. Save that for tomorrow, if it's clear. It was all because of weather. Yeah. sometimes you know it is hectic sometimes yeah. hmm? of course Mike we got your double thumbs Give you a little perspective of how far back we are. Try to get out to that outside ledge. Before the eruption, when was Mauna Loa put on yellow advisory? Um, I don't remember it being on yellow. It went to yellow. It yeah, went straight to it red. Yeah, it went straight to red. Run around the truck, yeah, to stay warm. It's about what we're gonna have to start doing pretty soon. It was so nice and warm in the truck, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does get cold. Every, not everyone. A lot of people keep asking us, "Hey, go up and stream from Mauna Kea." And we've been up there and streamed once uh, two years ago, and that was at 9,400 feet, and uh, whew, that was cold. That was cold. We can and go. It was windy. And windy. Very yeah. windy. Yeah. Yeah. We can in in 30 minutes we can go downhill from here. We'll be in Hilo, and it will be peeling jackets off quick. <laughs> Right now, Hilo is humid um, and rainy. Rainy, yeah. Humid and rainy. We weren't far from the equator this la last winter, and uh, in, in the high altitude, eight thousand plus, all through Colombia, Peru, it was it was pretty much fifties, sixties all the time. Which actually wasn't bad, was it? Because no. we were walking so much. What was the survey, Laura? 
There's a survey that they has to do with the SO2, the VOG. It's to collect data around the island of where people are experiencing the VOG. So if it's for those that are here on the island. Um, I, I guess if you're around the world, Tiggy, you'd mentioned that uh, it was stretching all the way to the east coast of the U.S., though that'd have to circle the planet. I'm sure there's some space photos that probably show the uh, distance that this fog is traveling. <coughs> Excuse me. Good morning, Colorado. It's cold there. Sure I can't see that far. It looks like us on his screen. The car in front of us There's has our... There's a car in front of us. I think they're watching us live. It's our live stream on it. <laughs> I'm not sure. It reminds us of... I, I, I'm thinking no, it, it is. is. It yeah, almost looks it. like ours. Yeah. That's kind of cool. It reminds me of when we were... I've been at Kilauea. Mm -hmm. And other people have looked on there. We look over and they're watching us on the... Yeah. And they're like, hey, that's you guys. They're standing at the, at the Kilauea caldera looking live themselves with their own eyeballs into the caldera and at the same time they're looking down at their phone watching our live <laughs> while we're standing next to them not even realizing that's us next to them mm -hmm. the chat side color is blue right yeah it's blue blue <laughs> Them. Thank you. Appreciate that. Moon is barely active, so yes. Don, you were really early. Did you get some coffee or some breakfast down yet? Don was up early. Yeah, Don was early today. You know what we haven't looked for? GPS. No. That's another thing, too. We were so frazzled yesterday. Yeah, the, gar <laughs> the Garmin somewhere in the yeah, truck. Yeah, we, we couldn't find it anywhere. We're like, oh, my goodness, we're a mess. We couldn't find our head original headlamp, so we have to dig out these old ones. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't find the Garmin. We're looking forward to going home early today and having, <laughs> Getting somewhat, things of a, together. having a, somewhat of a normal day. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we have to get ourselves organized and situated yeah. again because things are everywhere. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> going on here. Yeah, that's that. pretty awesome. It's
about out of Java, aren't we? How much you got left in your jug? Mm. Mm. Half. I'm gonna bust out the camping gear. I, I don't uh, drink very fast and very much. Yeah. Rest in chair and yeah. go all the way down, back around again. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's another thing. One two. that I've seen. Two? Two horns. Oh, there's one down this way too, right? So that'd make three. three yeah, Mike, that it's a uh, sound like seven three three. Yeah, looks like it. He's down two two trucks down. Yep, Fisher three is active. The other down four total. There are only four. Oh, yeah. Cover my ears up. I think I'm going to start packing your um, beanie, too. Yeah. The one with the little ear things. Yeah, that'd be a good that idea. The one that grew. Mm -hmm. The alpaca one. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody's probably laughing, <laughs> <laughs> but it's pretty cold for us up here. It's so weird only having one camera versus yeah. all the other cameras. I'm so used to looking around. Did you see if Don answer our question if you got breakfast and coffee? I didn't see. Okay. Ed's gotta go. Lou Mod's gotta help Sis. Later. See you, Ed. Bye. Have a good one. Ed. Enjoy your day. Please give our aloha to Sis. Okay, I think my fingers have become normal now. Yeah. So I can take them out for another minute. That's the whole thing. Got to take your fingers out to touch everything, all the screens. Yeah. We'll wait till it warms up and then we do it again. Coffee and muffins, he says. Oh, coffee and muffins. Ready. Perfect. Little question here. Let's see. Can the lava melt the old lava before? Oh. <laughs> Dennis says his muffin was the name of his previous dog. That's so Have we got a super sticker? Oh, Victoria. Victoria, hello. Thank you very much. Ten pounds must be in the UK. Is this live? Are you sure? Well, it's pretty obvious today since we we're bouncing cameras left and right, focus is all wonky. We can hide it pretty good with the other system. 
but not like this. We're gonna eat, but maybe when you do have time. Yep. when I have time. Oh, we gotta make new emojis. Oh yeah. Those uh, new members emojis. That's right. I think you should add one that says, this is live. This is live. I put there, are you like sure? Like a fun one. Isn't the are you sure emoji still up there? <laughs> yeah, it's still there. Raymond Hoagland, aloha. Hey Raymond. Somebody check to see if the are you sure emoji is still there. Members. I'm pretty sure it is. You're welcome. Apologies, we're not on our normal A game today. We came up here and got blasted with crazy weather, so we're on a modified joining us. This is a little different than what we usually get multi cameras going, and we're still as goofy, but not as wonky on this. Cold and goofy. Cold and goofy. I have us uh, zoomed in right now on the front wall of lava that's coming directly towards us at a snail's pace. It's 2.7 miles from the highway. Nope, magma is not the same as lava. Once it leaves the inner earth and comes up to the surface is then called lava. Ed, I thought you were leaving. <laughs> Ed, thanks for the super chat. $20. Aloha, guys. Y'all have a great end of the chat. Y'all have a great day. Mahalo two peas. Enjoy thanks, the weekend, Ed. Ed. Have a nice weekend. Nice advice. <laughs> <Okay>. We'll see. <laughs> we all seem to have that problem. Yeah, earlier uh, in front of us, they were banging some music. Yeah. If you're wondering where we're at, we're almost at the very end of the viewing area. And this is where the wall is at. So we do get a day off today. Mike, hope you do. Been working a lot too. We're making my nose, baby. Good idea. I was asking Mike if he got a day off. I heard that, yeah. If it hits the highway, it's not guaranteed to. As it gets closer, it could slow down more. It could cool. It could get diverted. Oh, they can hear that on there, huh? Hear what? Your camera? I heard it like coming from that way. Okay, Gary. It, <laughs> that's a good that's a good one to put out there because there's uh, some misconceptions. It would still be an infraction which YouTube will pick up and copyright strike that channel so please do not attempt if you are if you have a channel 
Please do not attempt to restream it on yours unless you are authorized. You will get a copyright strike from YouTube and it will not be fun. I'm getting a lot of messages about unstable service. We're just getting yeah. There's a lot so of people. many people through there, and everybody's on their phones. Yeah, and uploading pictures. Yeah. Her, so. that's normal. Yeah, heavy park most of the time when you go to the park. Yeah, you, Starlink. <laughs> It is the weekend too. It is the weekend, yeah. Well, the the bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the hour update. <clears throat> no new changes. The front wall is moving at a slow pace. 2.7 miles from the highway. It's not guaranteed that it's going to hit. This is up top there. That's what's producing the lava. The other fissures have pretty much slowed down. Our SO2 is 180,000 tons. There's one, two, three, four total fissures. That is it. Regardless of what you may have heard, there are only four fissures. I don't know how much longer the stream's gonna hold together with the yeah. There's some old getting bounced around. Yeah. <clears throat> Hang with us, guys. I don't think they could blow glass from lava. Wouldn't it just turn to rock? As soon as it starts to cool. The information that we provide to you comes from local, reputable sources, county, as well as Hawaii Tracker, Hawaii Pod. What's that? Hawaii Civil Defense. Hawaii USGS. Civil Defense, USGS. Those are the sources that we use. Anna and I are not scientists. We're not volcanologists. We're not geologists. We are a camera crew, we live stream, we bring the shots to you and we bring the information that they have to you. This Tiggy is sluggish, a technical word. Is that a scientific word, sluggish? <laughs> You think the scientists get a <clears throat> more professional word than sluggish? I think it's a different group that does these updates because the whole um, paragraph mm -hmm. summary of the model update it's completely different. Uh, right yeah. in one kilowatt. Have you guys noticed that? If anybody I've else has that. noticed that? Different group. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. It reads completely different. Uh huh. Uh 
How thick is the toe? I'm assuming you're referring to the toe is the front wall there. <clears throat> Philip on the geologist here said it was about 12 feet. When we asked him, I think it's, it's over 12 feet high. It's pretty big. We actually saw a picture of a scientist out there and uh, it was scaling his head pretty good. Well, just so you guys know, we don't, we're not here to make any crazy predictions or assumptions or, you know, anything like that. We give you what, what we, what we know is, is some, is factual. And my lips are frozen. <laughs> I'm out of pot coffee. It's getting hard to stop. I didn't expect this many people up here this early in the morning. All week there hasn't been anybody up here in the morning it's at all. Weekend. But it is Saturday, yeah. Where's the lava walkers? I have not seen the headlights in a while, actually. I have. Oh, they're you on have? the bottom left. <clears throat> oh, they're moving yeah. back, huh? They're on the bottom left here, I think. Maybe yeah. I got a wall in front of me. I saw them on that side. I think they're oh, Bjorn. Daniels. What's the last name there? Danielson. Sean, thank you so much for the $50 super chat. Thank you. We appreciate that. You can hear our footsteps. Yeah, we're standing on the standing on the rocks. Yeah. That's right below us. For those of you that are just joining us, and maybe for the first time, <clears throat> I just went ahead and panned all the way out to give you a perspective of how far back we are. It's really funny, from this, from where we're standing and looking through the camera, you can't see how thick and how fast or how hot it is. You know, but when you right. look at the USGS when they're up close and personal and they yeah. film this, it's like yeah. with completely their, different. With their forty thousand dollar cameras <laughs> from a helicopter. That's it. Yeah. Oh, if we uh, only had a helicopter. <laughs> That's been your dream. Mm hmm <laughs> I have logged a thousand hours of flight time. <clears throat> on my iPad, which I can shoot missiles out of. So if anybody's um, looking for a rookie okay. helicopter pilot. Uh, just letting you guys know, it is bumper to bumper parked here. Yeah, at we might not, station, uh, this we, spot here. Yeah, we might not be sticking around much longer so that we can let everybody come through here. Yeah, we don't want to take up all the time. No. This no. is the time where everybody's trying to get uh, before work. And yeah. Right before sunrise. Ooh, a hot air balloon. That sounds great because we can get up, we stream a little bit of Mauna Loa, some Kilauea, and just wait for that trade wind to pick us up. And before you know it, no, we'd be in don't. Phuket in Thailand don't. on the beach. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> we go up to stream the volcanoes and we end up in uh, Phuket. I thought you were going to say something else. I was like, hey, 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 watch, hey. It, watch it. No. Family friendly channel. Please.
See if we can catch some movement in there. I don't remember the, the chat on this side being so small. Has it always been that small or are my eyes are my eyes getting worse? Yeah, it's just eyes. I got it sitting here because I want to watch to see if uh, I can see any lava actually flowing. Just barely. Yeah, quite a bit, huh? Huh? Quite a bit. Yeah, we are on day six up here on a somewhat modified system where we only are using one camera versus the uh, multiple four that we usually run. And it's a little wobbly than, than more wobbly than normal. But thanks for hanging out with us. Hopefully the weather's better uh, tomorrow. been up here the last six nights. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's pretty cool. Which night was the best? Uh, every night has its own little thing to it. Uh, like tonight, it's the whole front wall. Yeah. Because we really haven't been able to get that until they opened up this road. Uh-huh. Uh, exciting because it's the first night. Yeah. Night two, that massive fountaining. Every night is different. Well, we got the first night. Too. Oh, did you? Yeah. Busy though. But. Heck yeah. You came in a good time because <clears throat> we've been up here since midnight. Uh -huh. Well, 12:30, and uh, it was all blown out. You couldn't see anything. Really? Yeah, it didn't open up till about 
three hours ago. Got a pretty good drone footage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you here all night? Or you got we got here at about 12.30. When does the traffic start picking back up? Uh, it didn't start, pick, start picking up until about an hour ago. Not even, huh? Yeah. 40 minutes ago. I mean, it pretty much was quiet all night. So we've lost the time to come if you want to know the Yeah, probably. yeah. Between, uh, well, during the week, there's nobody here at night. A little bit here. I mean, yeah, maybe yeah. five, six vehicles, but between three. There's nobody out here. Three and eight. Yeah. Eight. yeah. What is it? So it shuts down. Kind of the quiet down. Quiet down about three. <coughs> no, I think it's quieting down to like midnight. Okay. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. so this is probably like busy at four. Yeah. Morning. It's a weekend. Yeah. Where do you guys live? We live about an hour. Oh, from Mount. Here? Oh, Mountain View. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. About you guys. About an hour drive for us. Like a lot, yeah. Oh. Well, no wonder you think it's cold. <laughs> it's freezing. No. <laughs> for us, it's freezing. For us, yeah. it's freezing, that's for sure. Yeah. We're used to it. I didn't even hear about it on the news the first morning. Like, go about the drone. It's <laughs> lava. <laughs> <laughs> can you see this from your place? Not from our house, but from the end of our street, you can see it. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. we, we, we live in a hole. The street. Uh, that's kind of how we are. But the first day you could see it, you could see a whole lot. Of really? Oh. But, but ever since that, it's like you can see the glow, mm -hmm. and maybe one little hot spot. Because uh, it's kind of mm. shifted over from where yeah. it was. Oh no. Getting there too quick. I'm getting started. Like a podcast or a video? Uh, we're two pineapples on YouTube. So we right. live stream. Kilauea, it's like the last two years, and now this. And, um, just a, is it do you like a viewership? Like a paid viewership? No, you can watch for free. Yeah, it's all free. So you work a regular job and you go do yep. this every yep. night? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We would film, uh, we'd get out to Kilauea and yeah, we'd stream from two. Yeah. <laughs> sleep? Hello? <laughs> what? What's, What's sleep? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing like slinging a nail gun when you had about you know 40 minutes of sleep in two days. You're a, you're a framework contractor. I can build, yeah. Nice. Or run, I run an excavator. Nice. When you're half asleep. That's why. We usually do Yeah. Our, kind of our rainy. Drive. First couple. Of I mean, the first two nights weren't bad. We were standing in the rain for day three, I think. We were in the rain. What's Kilauea doing right now? Just hanging out. She's, uh, we don't really, they're not really giving us any updates on fill levels, but we run a 24 7 live stream of Kilauea also. Uh -huh. So we monitor that 24 hours a day. Do you have a camera just posted over there or what? Uh, we use all the USGS cameras and then we we go up there and film also okay. a couple days a week. That's what we've been doing before this happened. And we haven't seen the, ever since two months ago or so, the, we had that big earthquake swarm. The entire floor dropped. And ever since that happened, the pond seemed to have drained out. I mean, there's still lava in there. It's just not full like it used to. And uh, it's just, I don't know, taking its time. These two volcanoes kind of do this to each other. Okay. When one's so we'll see when this stops. Most likely. We're not scientists or geologists, volcanologists, whatever. Yeah, we're yeah, just we're Anita, the Thank you for joining <laughs> us. Have a good night. Okay. Almost six, almost six years now. Okay. You guys? Yeah. Oh. In all in White Galoa? Mm -hmm. no, we were in White Bay the first five years. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, Morning, Jen. A little less. A little closer I did send you a, I, a message on Discord. Yeah. So you still commute? Yeah. I have a problem with the mold. In Waimea? Yeah. Yeah, I bet. So. These allergies are That's horrible. 
Yeah, those uh, bellies here definitely. I'm allergic to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait, did I No, make? nothing. Sorry about shining my lights on you. Oh, no, no, don't worry about it. Like, well, these no. guys are serious. <laughs> Crashing in front of you for No, no. We actually have a full like, mm. studio to set up. Because of the, the weather, we did everything. We weren't sure if we were going to have to drive, so we just kind of did a mod modification so, so that, that we can move. Yeah, yeah. You know, it'll, they're having uh, big gush geysers, what do you call them? The fountaining up there? Yeah. That's Fisher 3 straight up at the top. He said Mount 2 is lots of months ago. Yeah. It's been it. Um, they could. I mean, it depends on what they're flying. Yeah. I mean, our drone can cover several miles if we wanted. It's all about the life. To get it out there, it's it's yeah. getting it back. Yeah. Man, I can't do this with gloves on. Yeah. It's another reason I don't wear gloves. How many miles is it up there, do you know? We're guessing from this point here that it could be right around four to six. Somewhere around there. Okay. Maybe. I know that it's from the front of the lava flow to the highway, it's two to seven miles. Okay. It's got to be. So we figure we're somewhere in the middle right now, or, or a little bit over. Yeah. Maybe we're at like a mile and three quarters. So that's a rough guesstimate. We hiked over the summit this summer from Kilauea side and came out this side. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. It's coming down. It's a long ways. Yeah. I never some I've never some of the I had a friend of some of the this side. Went up the observatory side. Went up to the go up to the observatory and hiked yeah. the back. It's a heck of a hike. Yeah. Took us six days to go from one side to the other. True. Yeah. Nice. Any water up there? Yeah, and in both catchments, both at the Red Hill Summit cabin and the summit in the Honolulu cabin. It was frozen, but there was water. comes the sun. That means warmth. Yeah, once the light comes, once you get a little bit of ambient light, visibility changes significantly, and then you have about, oh, 30 minutes before you lose pretty much all visibility on lava. Yeah. The cinder cone, or the cinder, the cone that's been created by Fisher 3 is 157 feet high now. Really? Mm hmm. And growing. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready to go? Is for 
where I'm freezing. Oh, yeah. Uh, told the kids last night, I'm like, you guys want to go to see a lot in the morning? Like, it's a Christian sport. Yeah. yeah. That'll be good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Set the alarm at four and like, ah, uh, hit snooze. I'm like, ah, four thirty, four forty. I'm like, okay, let's go. That'll work. Like, it's probably still gonna be good. We we're about half an hour late. <laughs> still gonna be there. <laughs> so we've said that some mornings ourselves. You do a lot of. You do any? You publish any photos still? Stuff like that. Uh, my wife, she's the photographer. Um, she puts them out. We have a Discord, and she puts them all on there. Not for, not for uh, sale. You can just Oh, you got one kid with you. Yeah, she, we don't want to leave her. Her and the, and the kids will wake up and freak out. She's just crying. Very good. They're all big pieces. Just not. I saw a super chat come through. Yeah. This one. She's not the kind of girl to. Look at this. Look at this uh, balloon shot. <laughs> what am I looking at? The woman. Yeah, it looks like a hula Where? Girl. It took me no, a my eye, too. My eyes are a little. Can you see it? I'm like, what am I looking at? <laughs> Why can't you see it? <laughs> The vlog that's making yeah. me look like a hula girl. Yeah. That's what it is, I think, yeah. maybe, huh? Right here? Mm -hmm. This the part? Face, the arm there. Oh my god, that's scary. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I don't, think, I don't think it would look like that without the clouds, which is why it's a blurry picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never put. Oh, what's going on? I don't know. She said she took it on her way to work. It's a cool shot. Coming across the saddle. Yeah. I'm like, you're taking pictures while you're driving. That's a good idea. Actually. Nah, it's not a really good idea. <laughs> it's a good picture. Send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a really cool shot. And he shows it to me. I'm like, it's really pretty. But I'm not looking at it. <laughs> He's like, you can't see it. I'm like, you're gonna have to point it out. <laughs> I was supposed to be in Waimea the day after Thanksgiving for knee surgery. Oh yeah? With who? Yeah. How did she get? No. Boganum. Boganum? Boganum? Yeah. I call him Bohemian. Bohemian? I don't know why. Dr. J? <laughs> I guess I misread it the first time and I, I've always called them that. He never said anything. No. He never corrected me. No, he <laughs> like, Bohemian? I moved my, adjusted my appointment to a 94 year old patient having shoulder surgery and oh, diabetic wow. so he wanted to move to him to to 11 in my slot and move me to 2.30 and then they call me before Thanksgiving and say oh appointment's canceled I'm like oh man what happened they said it was an emergency at the hospital this is Tuesday my surgery's on Friday they said oh we have emergency surgery on Friday I'm like well, how is that an emergency he did three surgeries that day Oh, so you work at the hospital? Yeah, I work in the OR. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. I should have been in there. <laughs> Apparently I had an emergency. It wasn't you. Yeah. So, I mean, I hope my... I have a, so you're telling us there was no emergency? Sure. Apparently. You, you don't, you don't, <laughs> weren't you on call though? Uh-huh. I, I worked on Friday. I think I was on call You that. guys hearing this? <laughs> I pull up the schedule. Except for it's on my home computer. I can pull it up and tell you what happened the whole day in the OR. <laughs> Yeah, you'll see my name on the schedule <laughs> with a big red slash through it. Canceled. Yeah, twice. Twice. <laughs> yeah, then so they rescheduled me in Hilo on Tuesday. And Hilo calls me up at 3.30 the day before. And then the machine broke. And you're canceled till Jan mid-January. So I'll... You get a me-scope or... Get a total, no, I'm getting... Knee. No, I wanted the total knee. I've got a... Flipped and torn up meniscus. My ACL has a small tear, and my PCL 
Oh, you know, oh, yeah. I'm 50. That's why he wanted to just go in there and clean up some things and take, yeah. a, take a little better look instead of being total. Yeah, the five or ten years out of it. Yeah. He's going to be replacing total after. After, what, 10 anyway? Yeah. So I was fine with that, but I wanted to get it done. So is there another picture? Inside, yeah. Like where it's a little Just a little bit, yep, exactly. Okay. And then back behind it. Both up on the top? Yeah. <laughs> but one, two, and four are pretty much toast. They're sluggy. Sluggish. Which ones are we So straight up here, the big one obviously is three. Okay. Okay. Then this is four. And then one, two. Helicopter is the way to see it. So this part of this area is like a stretch of plane. I have not seen anything. I went on to Blue Hawaii and see if they were grounding anything. We've been out here every day, and every day there's not just USGS, but uh, Paradise copters out here. Blue Hawaii's flying. Okay. But during the day. <laughs> during well, the day, yeah. They don't fly at night. There's, there's a circle right around the base where they have to get permission to control their space. Right. But other than that, they can still fly through control if you get permission. So, yeah. And right look now. on the aerial maps. You, probably, you see them on your drone maps, right? Mm -hmm. They have the air, the, yep. all those marking your drone maps. Yep. I'm trying to think what Bill did on Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. He did a. He did like three surgeries. Yeah. Who, who called you to Kinsey? The hospital or Bulgana? Well, the hospital called me. They say there was an emergency? They told me on Tuesday that there was an emergency. The hospital told you there was an emergency? Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. It didn't sound bad. I know it did sound bad. It was horrible. I wasn't happy. <laughs> Scheduled I've been waiting since July. Yeah, you love those schedules. Scheduled emergencies. <laughs> yeah, scheduled emergency. That's what I call them. Scheduled emergencies. Like, they're scheduled emergencies for tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, call, I, call it a, I call it a scheduled emergency. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a it's, a, it's a surgeon's schedule. It's a surgeon's schedule. It's an emergency. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just figured Doc was just done with his, with his uh, week and he wanted to take off for Thanksgiving. Oh, Tell him I told you that. No, I won't. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure he's just really busy. Right? Yeah, we yeah. all are. A lot of those guys are pretty busy. Yeah. He hasn't worked up my mayor for very long. He's working people full time. Yeah, that's what he told me. I get the feeling out of falling out with the Hilo, the Hilo hospital. He didn't really want to do it at Hilo at all. I was fine with that. I mean, even though it's Waimea. He, I think he works at some surgery center in Kilo. Yeah. And then he works in Waimea, but for whatever reason, he won't operate Hilo Hospital anymore. Up, up. We must have had a must have had an <laughs> argument of some sort. Because if you if you live in Hilo, why would you drive to Waimea to operate? Right. Mm -hmm. well, unless you're hungry. Yeah, isn't it nice? <laughs> she got the weekend off, I take it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you guys. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like the third. Every third weekend off. No, I work every third. So I get two, oh, I see. Two out of three off. Right on. Pros and cons of the call. You, know, you get the call mm -hmm. and you get more days off. Mm -hmm. You used to get some random days off in the middle of the week too. And I pick up miscellaneous construction work. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-five. So oh, a little seven, little mm -hmm. seven thousand pounder. Yeah, nice. It's like eighty-eight. 
100. Four grand? Takeuchi. Takeuchi. I really like this. You got, you got a Yanmar in that? I got a Yanmar 28. It's got a uh, John Deere three cylinder in it. Big the, bird. Takeuchi has a Yanmar engine, don't they? Uh, that one does too, yeah. But I also have uh, the uh, Yanmar with the John Deere engine in it. That's interesting. Yeah, so apparently they teamed up like in the 80s for a, a decade and then things went wrong. I helped up the hood when I got it. And uh, I was like, hey, it's a John Deere. All right. <laughs> my my Gradle had, had a Gradle John Deere engine. Hands are so cold I can't even move this camera right now. Oh yeah. Can't even adjust this. Man, a little more light to be able to get in on that front wall. Here all night without freezing to death. Oh, oh we do freeze to death. No idea. Oh, we do. You know, I've tried to get warmer and all that good stuff, but you know, nothing ships to Hawaii. Yeah. We do, well, the past couple of days, we've been trying to go to all the stores and find some kind of hot hand or yeah. rechargeable warmers. I found anything yet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go to the fishing store. As we wanted them to stream our my procedure. Believe me, I asked the doc about it. He said no. Oh, to speak here, to see your, to see your surgery? Yeah, everybody's asking right now about, you know, streaming, live streaming the surgery or, or at least getting a video. I talked to him about it. He said no. You know, it's funny, back in the 80s when arthroscopic surgery first got popular, or first got started, my dad was a full ortho, and, uh, Recorded every surgery he did. <laughs> really? Yeah, like, every, like back on VHS, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, Very cool. Uh, he had a whole wall of video, uh, videos at his office. He recorded this video and that video, and then they thought they'd be using it for reference. And he said, it turns out they never use it for anything. So, <laughs> bummer. So at some point, they, they just stopped doing the videos. Now they do, they'll do like a still shot, or people, the surgeons will take pictures of their camera to send it Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I watched a few uh, of the meniscus on YouTube, uh -huh. but there's not a lot out there. Yeah, you'd have to find a really uh, uh, most surgeons would tell you no because. Mm -hmm.
cool. Sunrise over there. Oh, I wanted to tell everybody. What do you got? I got. No, I told. I only told. Let me look at the chat first. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm like shriveled up mushroom over here. Yeah. How many viewers do we have? Uh, depending on what we're doing, you know, like this, we have like one thousand five hundred, seven hundred. Let me progress. open up the chat back up. Okay, you guys. Sorry, I'm walking back and forth. I did want to tell where we were. The um, majority of you guys did know holidays. Uh, we have family over Thanksgiving and Christmas coming around. Our daughter was supposed to come over with our grandson, and they will not be making it this year. She did not get a food for her Navy B. So we, again, just Lou and I. No kids, no grandkids, nobody. For Christmas. <laughs> I, think I was just oh. telling them that Keanu can't make it to oh, Christmas. Yeah. Enjoy them though. Yeah. Uh, post, thank you for the super All sticker. Over the place. Okay. Not Hello volcanoes. for joining us. What's it, what you saying? Not, not just volcanoes. Yeah. Cool. No, we did not get the donuts from Friday morning. Yep, that's us. Please stop moving camp. Hmm. Yeah, I have like three I bought my daughters in and they have I have leggings to Yeah. Nice. They've got, they've got gloves that um, can still work phones. Yeah. That's what's tough with what we do, always touch the screen. And you have to take it on and off. It's like, okay, you didn't get one yet. They have like little pads. They grow it up. They had the wool gloves. They had the bit that went over the top. Yeah, you still have to still use your fingers. Yeah. It's such a pain for me because like now it's simple. It's just one, two cams. Normally we have several cams on the full screen. Yeah. So I'm constantly moving. My gloves mm -hmm. in the way. Constantly. Yeah. And I'm usually just standing right there, just playing with the camera. Yeah. And just like, oh. Yeah. 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 What I found, I grew up picking an apple. I grew up on an apple farm. What I found is, you know, early in the mornings, my hands would go numb, right? But what I found is if I wore like two, three extra coats, I have some extra heat that would just like oh, dissipate nice. through my hands. <laughs> 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 could pick when it was freezing cold, but I could you know, still, still grab the apples and do what I need to do. <laughs> right. Nice. But, Come on, you guys yeah. take care. Nice take talking care. to you. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks for sharing with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I see you at the hospital. Hey, there's an emergency in January, so it's oh. <laughs> that, that, that scheduled emer emergency? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay, we are back. Hey guys, well that was interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> you never know who you're gonna meet. Right. Somebody just spilled the beans. Hard rock roll, aloha. Okay, let me just scroll back a little bit. Man, this is it. And I don't see my kids either. This year. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be tough for a lot of people for the yeah. holidays. Um, you know, but it'll be next time. Yep. There'll be other holidays. Starlink, I just saw that up there. Sorry, guys, I've been chatting on the side, so I haven't been reading the chat. How far is the flow? Let's do a quick update. The flow is 2.7. Hey, guys. <laughs> Aloha. This is Lou and Anna, two pineapples. We're up here live at Mauna Loa. It's 6.15 a.m. December 3rd, 2022. Day six of the eruption at Mauna Loa. We, the flow front is 2.7 miles-ish from Saddle Road. It is not guaranteed it's going to hit Saddle Road. They're not predicting it to hit it or not hit it. A lot of things are in play in play right now because it's kind of hit that flat zone. It's slowed down. It's gone a very slow pace. The only fish are three, one, two, and four have pretty much become sluggish. 
the new viewing area is entering at mile marker 36 and at the other side of it. Uh, SO2 is 180,000 tons per day. 2.7 right. miles from saddle. Yep, 2.7 miles from saddle. So that's kind of just a basic update. Uh, not Nothing crazy has happened. Nothing too out of whack. We're just speed. here. We're just here watching this front wall. Apologize for the camera work today. We're not using our normal system. And uh, there are so many people, tourists and locals here, that internet is getting throttled. And uh, we are uh, going to be looking into Starlink. That is the only way to go. We're probably going to end a little bit early. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people and you yeah. don't want to take up the space. It time. definitely thinned out quite a bit, though, didn't it? Huh? It definitely thinned out quite a bit. Have we looked down the road yet, both ways? No. Oh, we don't get into all, all the gear that we uh, are using. We have a, a Panasonic, Panasonic Sony. Sony. We have a half a dozen cameras. Old and new. Old and new, yep. Yes, Linda, would you please contact Musk and tell him I am ready to receive my Starlink. No, where did those people go with the headlamps? Last time Anna saw them, they were headed left on the screen. Did you guys happen to hear when he shook our hands? He said, my hands were ice cold. Yeah. <laughs> to spin we uh, there's a, a lot of people we are in the middle of the South Pacific we are on 4g there's only two or three towers on this entire island that have 5g availability and it's spot. yeah it's random and it doesn't work very well either even if it was yep. the, you get the 5g signal and then the most random spots Reminds me when we were in uh, Kael Kekua, we turned on all the cameras and they were fogged up.
No, I don't think the erupting volcano. Because if it did, my feet wouldn't be cold. No, I don't think the ambient temperature has increased. I wonder if we didn't have the uh, traffic noise. We might hear some with the shotgun mic. Oh yeah, I know. Antenna, we have, believe me, if you you'd be surprised at all the things that we have attempted to do to increase signal strength and integrity. I can't even tell you. Honestly, I'm not going to get into it. No, don't. You don't have to. You don't have to, babe. You know, it happens. Don't let it get to you. Let's just say this. We do our best. Okay. Ace, <laughs> please, Don. Don's very concerned about your feelings. <laughs> well, I was just looking for a coffee cake. Your window doesn't roll all the way. The box was in the back. Yeah, I took them all in the house. Oh, you're killing me. You can see the weather coming in now on you us. You want to go to all the bar instead? Nah, I'll wait till we're driving. I'm going to find me a breakfast burrito somewhere. <laughs> there we go. I'm you getting, get I'm it. pigging out today. <laughs> Dennis, I feel the same way sometimes. I'll drink a couple cups of my... Did we mix something up? Did they mix something up in the packaging? Because I'm sure this was supposed to get me wired out. <laughs> A world cam, yes. Oh, my hands are completely frozen. I know, Jen, I know. It's just frustrating. Especially when, yeah, uh, not today. <laughs> breakfast burrito, breakfast burrito, <laughs> breakfast burrito, <laughs> breakfast burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Went out because the weather sucked it in. Yeah, it sucked. It's game. It's coming. The rain is coming. The good thing is, is we don't have a uh, a whole slew of cameras and gear to pack up. Yeah, I have a lot of rubbish to pick up. Yes. I think what we'll do is when we're getting ready to after we get packed. We'll uh, drive all the way around. Hey, show them this. Look it. Oh. I already picked up two cans from the first stop. People's, uh, Reach down there and pick up with the whole tripod. Natural light. And passion guava. All right. To the trash can with you. Yep. Got it. Gator goulash. I like that. I like me gator. Tried the beast. Nope. Just doesn't matter. We are on an island in the middle of the Pacific. Breakfast burrito. Breakfast burrito. Breakfast burrito. Breakfast burrito. Breakfast burrito. 
Tell it right. Tell it right. Ooh, tell it right. Sounds even better. Yeah, we gotta go to the other side anyway. Remember? Yeah. Oh, today's Saturday. Today is Saturday. Oh yeah. man, we gotta wait till noon. We have to wait till noon. Mm -hmm. okay. But we'll go to town. Yeah, we'll go to town and get some stuff yeah. done. Time for Ooh, an update. Teresa, 6 30. Potato and egg with beans. So, potato and egg with oh, beans. Oh, gosh. That's beans. That is my total favorite <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, some fresh salsa, picadillo. Ooh, picadillo. I would stumble my, my tongue. You're so stumbled. hungry. You're I'm so <laughs> hungry and cold. My tongue is stumbling. <laughs> uh, the, I'm going to give a quicker summary than I normally give since we're at the latter part. Oh, oh camera, camera, camera. Let me flip it. <laughs> I'm flipping the camera around. Prepare. Okay. Prepare. I'll give them the quick summary. All right. Hey, where are you? I'm right here. <laughs> quick summary. Frozen fingers. Everybody, we are two pineapples. If you're just joining us, Anna and Lou, we're up here at Mauna Loa. It's day 6, December 3rd, 2022 of the eruption. 2.7 miles away is that lava front wall. Headed behind us is uh, to the highway. Saddle Road. Saddle Road. We don't know if it's going to get there. It's not guaranteed. It could divert and head towards Kona, uh, the military base. It could just stop. We don't know. That's why we're here every day, checking it out, giving you the updated information. Fisher 1 and 2 and 4 are sluggish. Fisher 3 is the main mm -hmm. source now of lava that's coming down. It's built up a cone that's about 150 plus feet high. Our we see it's there's no property in the world. So everything is operation orders in place. The only road that I know of that is the road that goes up to the observatory. That's it. Viewing is on this road now. It is busy. Moving on the stream. The uh, park on this side. Close your driver's side door. We see that happen out here. People um, shut your door. Trash. Otherwise, we will. And I want to say thank you to the super chatters today. All the new subscribers was a little because of we're we already heard it for the last three hours. We'll be back. Up. The mods. Mods. Thank you. Mods. We get, we tried to give a day off out of a day off by not telling you are coming out. I know. I know. You're all out of here. <laughs> this burrito. No. It's we both yes. take right. them to like yeah. oh, what <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Sound familiar? But we we would hope that they rest in between and spin in. It is blown. Oh we're back. Sorry. <laughs> Mods, members, subscribe. Everybody hit that. Appreciate it. Okay, thank you all. You give us. We'll be in tomorrow and give you any updates. Sure, you guys do uh, Hawaii Park, Hawaii Tracker. We have multiple streams and premieres during the day uh, with any new one from the Hawaii so. Hawaii Tracker. And Hawaii on YouTube. On the big so that you can start helping us get SO2 in the bog. Mm -hmm. With that, thank you mm -hmm. to everyone. Great Saturday. Aloha.